Maybe. Hopefully, hopefully Starlink is good tonight. Make sure everything's looking good. I'm a little late. It's been a crazy couple days. Maybe I'll explain it all a little later. I just finished a video too, so that took a little while. Um, not having my PC inside makes it really hard to do any recording. I have to come up here and screw around. Uh, this looks good. YouTube looks good, I think. Yeah, we're all good to go. So we're going to do more breakthrough, more spear. Probably HR, just mess around, check out the gear. Um, geared matchmaking, all right? A lot of people, like, initially very impressed with gear matchmaking, and now I see a lot of people hating on geared base matchmaking. So I don't know what the verdict is. I haven't played enough. My little experience with it on Sunday was, um, it was actually kind of fun. I see Soapy. <laughs> Wicked. Is that the Wicked emote? I think so. Not too much. Script, welcome back. I don't know what's going on. I think I was watching some Soapy today, actually. I was watching a little bit I could today. Um, I was out in the woods a lot. I gotta make sure my video moved. All right, I can unhook my external hard drive. I have to move shit back and forth through my external hard drive. Oh, where is it? Plugged in here somewhere. So we can get rid of that. We have a video we can upload later. Um, yeah, we'll probably post that. I don't know if it's going to be done tonight or not. We're fully back in the trailer? Yep, we're fully back in the trailer. I do have to do some work on the trailer. Um, I have a leak somewhere. And the weather's not quite warm enough to, like, reseal everything properly. So I might have to take, like, the roof panels off again. And, uh, air everything out. And then put them back up. Because now the weather's getting warmer. There's some moisture trapped in the ceiling, basically. And, uh, moisture trapped in small areas. That is how you get mold. Yeah. So, I'm... Not only am I breathing in propane when it's cold, I am breathing in mold when it's warm. It's great. I'm just, like, ruining my health out here. Goblin Merchant. Oh, what amazing things to roll on. Hmm. I guess we go with those two. Uh, it doesn't look like we did very well, judging by those ones. I don't know, Scrip. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Those are pretty shite. Yep. Um. <laughs> I haven't been doing much goblin, honestly. I have not been doing as much gambling as before. I, I feel like I often used to look for it in the past because we were doing a whole bunch of them and you had like a whole pile of options. Now you only have like two or three options and a lot of them are kind of like junky weapons that you don't really want anyway. It's very rarely do you get a pendant or a ring that you're going to use. So, I've kind of, like, limited myself to some of that. Uh, Iron Will Fighter, could you imagine? Yeah, that's... That's a message I just got on YouTube from somebody. Yeah, Iron Will Fighter, I think, will be very popular. Very, very popular. But I think Iron... Anti-Magic's very good also. Um... Who knows? Who knows? I think they're gonna be releasing, um next week right or no this week yeah today's monday so they're releasing multi-classing this week apparently i don't know that seems crazy miss you no mac that seems a little crazy i i, I am thinking like if i have time i want to get like a, a mixer a better mixer set up for my audio so i can like do music and stuff Shit, I'm tired of Gabe audio, and then like adjust my mic settings better because probably should be doing that. Um, but we're just gonna mess around with Spear Fighter as usual with crossbow. It's gonna be interesting to see what level we end up actually being once they readjust everything. I I'm wondering if I should maybe work on another character, but I just like don't feel like it. I'm just gonna stick with the two, see if I get some things I enjoy and have fun with, and then. If it gets really boring to me, I will probably level another one and go from there. We're just going to stick with these for now. There's lots of things I could do with Warlock that'd be fun. Um, like, if we got... If we got... Imagine if we got, like, Spear Proficiency or whatever it's called from Ranger with them um, on Warlock. I think that'd be hilarious. Like, Blow Corruption, Additional Magic Damage Spear. You could do that on Fighter, too. Um, 
At least then you have access to crossbow mastery if you want it. Not too much else I take on Ranger though. Holy shit, I feel like why I just got like a wave of tired hit me as soon as I pressed live. Truthfully, I've been tired all day. I had um I had a crazy night last night. Um crazy, crazy, crazy. Pretty crazy stuff. So maybe I'll explain it once more people arrive later, so I don't have to explain it a couple times. But it was a long day. Last I didn't go to bed till like two a.m. last night. <sighs> yeah, not good. Might just jump into a game. I have some. Like I did a little bit of questing. I literally played one game today. I went into HR. Maybe it was last night. Maybe it could have been yesterday afternoon. I played a game. Uh, I went and did some questing. I literally just went in to kill a demon bat. End up getting chased down by Todd Father's team and normals. And, uh, yeah, we didn't make it out of there. Um, but I don't know how you're ever going to do the bard one. That's crazy. I really don't know how I'm going to do that one. I really hope STF knows what he's doing with putting multi-class live early. Oh, the Reddit. <laughs> the Reddit's just, like, going off. It's crazy. I seen a poll today. Um, there was a poll on the Reddit that was like, what does everyone think of multi-classing? And it was like, I played the test server, and I'm excited for it. I played the test server, I'm not excited for it. I didn't play this test server, I'm excited for it. I didn't play the test server, and I'm not excited, or um... Basically, both those options, either you play the test server, you like it, or you're excited, or you're not excited. And... I think it was like 30 votes to like 26. The 30 votes of the people that played the test server were, and they were excited for it, and then 26 being the people that were not excited for it, and having played it and tested it. And then, like, the vast majority, which kind of surprised me, were people that never played the test server, but over a hundred and some votes didn't want it. Like, not excited for it at all. I thought that was a wild, a wild poll. Like, like, three times as many people voting, they're not excited for it, but they never tested. Tested it. I don't understand that. I really don't. Um... If I didn't do the playtest, I would probably say I'm, like, curious about it, you know? I'm not really, like, upset. <laughs> like, I don't know, it's weird. I play the test server, and I'm excited for it. Interesting. But also, I'm fully aware it's going to break the game and drive people away. Hmm. I don't know. We're gonna see. Uh, we'll see what they do with the leveling. See how many options you guys actually have. Uh, I know some people are only, like, level 20, level 25. Maybe they'll give you a token at level 25 now, or make the experience gain... Like, drop the experience per level, instead of it being a thousand, being like 800. Which would probably push you up a few levels. Yeah. Not that surprising, honestly, people don't like change, especially when they feel like it will break the game. <clears throat> I just... I don't... I don't know, like... We're, I'm just so curious. And I think SDF and them are very curious as well. Uh, I think some of the stuff you're seeing in the test server was, like, very exaggerated, because people had, like, infinite, like, infinite, um, rolls on stuff. But it will be interesting to see what people, like, if people enjoy getting killed by, like, a windless crossbow ambush rogue. Is that going to be enjoyable? I don't know. Is it going to, are you going to see enough of it to make it, like, a problem? I doubt it. Like, do, you, do are we really going to see a whole pandemic of people just sitting in darkness with a windless? I, I don't really know. Uh, who knows? I, I think I'm, I'm going to be surprised how many people try to, like, roll into fighter. And try to get fighter perks, because I feel like fighters, like, get some garbage perks that only work on shield. Uh, so that's kind of a dangerous game to play. I see you, Mayo. Yeah, I was watching, back to, like, my point earlier, I was watching Soapy play today, looking for, like, 1v3s, and he was in a shitload of dead lobbies. And I think, like, the day before, I think it was, like, Sunday, um, what fucking day is it? Today's Monday, um... I think it might have been Saturday, I was watching Repose play, Saturday or Sunday, and, uh, basically, he was, like, not getting lobbies with people in it either, because he was running really, really good gear, and so there's three queues, is the way I see it, there's now a whole, like, stat thing out, we're not using the fucking gear checker thing, I really don't give a shit, if I'm gonna put on some blue gear, I'll put on some junk blue gear, I don't really care, um, I do think three is a bit much. Why don't they just have two? Two splits? 
Like one with like greens and blues, and then ones with like purples and up. What's 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 why why do we need like three? I think that was like the big issue. I see you, Morby. Um, not being able to tell what other people are doing, ruining class identity just doesn't seem like a good idea to me. Yeah, one one solution I think that may come. Uh, which maybe um, I think could be a possibility is if they keep certain ones like you can't touch those. Unless you're playing that class, like, uh, whatever, whatever ones that the people think are really, really strong. Or just shouldn't be, like, swapped around from class to class. Um, maybe, maybe they decide that, like, there's certain skills you just can only have on fighter class, there's certain skills you can only have on barbarian. Uh, I think a killer strike for any melee class in the game, I think it also, it, it hit, it works with range as well. I think Achilles Strikers is one of the strongest CCs in the game. Like, on hit, two and a half seconds slow, that basically cripples anybody's movement. Is very, very strong. So I think everyone that going is rolling Barbarian, uh, if they get Achilles Strike, they're probably taking it on almost everything. Yeah, I don't see why not. Even in threes. Like, you imagine your whole team all having Achilles Strike? <sighs> like, you know what I mean? I just, it just... That's a little tough. Maybe one that's better suited just on Barbarian. <laughs> you know? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how it all plays out. Um, the highest gear bracket seems to be the least populated. Yeah, okay. So that's the other question I was going to ask you guys. How many people do you think play in that upper gear bracket all the time anyway? Wouldn't that be one of the smallest portions of the player base? So we have Normals, which I would think Normals, like Normals has a ton of players. Uh, and then we have, like, people that just want to have, like, mediocre 2 or 3k kits, which I see people talking about often, saying they never go with, like, 10 or 20k kits ever. And then you have, like, the real sweats that are using, like, the best in slot gear. Wouldn't that, like, best in slot gear sweats be the smallest percentage of the player base anyway? So then the second they limit that queue to its own little thing, and a few of them are like, well, I guess I'm not getting a lobby, maybe I just stop queuing there. Like, it doesn't take a lot until... That, that player base is now, like, shrunk to a point where you're just not getting lobbies. Normally, I'm on Iron Maze side, but multiclassing is just going to drive player count down again. Hmm. Arena, Arena will save us. I think they should keep the RNG system, but have it to be talents for your specific class. So for, like, Fighter, you could get Spear Mastery or, like, buffed versions of Second Wind or something. Yeah, kind of like, you're almost talking about, like, subclassing in a way, or, like, improving your class... Like, building more on your own class rather than pulling from other classes. I see you, Ark. Um, like, Fighter could dip into Cleric or Barb. I don't think it should be free range. Hmm. Let's see. Was the spellcasting lock to classes that already had spell memory for multiclassing? No, but I think you needed, a. I think you needed, um, Weapon Master in order to get a spell book, right? Wait. Wait until Wizard and Warlock get their hands on Smite. I was doing 12 magical damage with a dagger. And starting kit. Yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, right. Yeah, okay. I thought that's what I heard. So, yeah. The whole, like, the whole lobby system thing, I think they could probably make it two. Like, two different, um, uh, queues instead of three, like, different gear scores. I also am curious, like, why, why do we have normals? You know? Um, why? I, I feel like a lot of our... A lot of the player base is playing normals. Why not just have it like, you know, what? Can we can we get those players into HR somehow? Can we get them into HR so that like they're acquiring gear, they're like leveling up their character, you know, they're um, they're also like slowly gaining items that puts them into a higher bracket, so they're competing against other players that are like slightly geared. The problem is for new players, the mobs are fucking difficult. So this goes, like, this goes way back, but imagine, just, like, imagine this, like, fantasy little world where HR is the only thing that exists. Ruins, ruins is, like, mobs are, like, normal. It's, like, a normal map. Crypts is, like, HR mobs. And then you have Hell, which is, like, HR Hell, which is, like, the Inferno mobs, insane difficulty. And they apply the same thing on Frost, whatever. And then Goblin Caves has its Inferno mode, or somehow, or it's just always HR on Goblin Caves. 
like style mobs. When I when I say HR, I mean like the mob difficulty is always that like HR, HR difficulty. Um, probably really tough for new solo players, but yeah, I I just would rather see the whole player base playing in one queue rather than um, the double queue and like HR like low gear lobbies is kind of like in a slightly improved normals experience. But I think normals is really good. Um. Get ready for multi-classing base matchmaking? Yeah, I don't know about that. My biggest issue um, with gear-based matchmaking is if it doesn't take modifiers into account. So you, you can be in the lowest bucket, but being paired with people with full damage kits. Yeah, that's that was the issue with like the blue runes map too, like blue Q, where you can only use blue gear. Everyone just min-max their blues. Um, yeah. I kind of like that, so it still feels good to find bis green or blues. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, like, if you find a good green ring now, it actually feels somewhat exciting, because you, you can, like, get some value out of it. I also think, um, it's it's kind of like a, a learning thing. Like, you're... Like, the player the players have to somewhat learn what's, um, what's good and what's bad eventually, right? They can do all their, like training, like, messing around, smashing into people in normals, but, like, getting better at the game also comes with learning which gear you should be using. So, I don't want to just, like, really dummy it down so a player doesn't need to, like, retain any information about Dark and Darker and just go in and, like, have equal Q every time you go in there. No one's running plus all attributes, no one's running additional physical damage. You know, I do think there needs to be some, like, Oh, I've kind of had this build. It's intriguing. It has a couple of modifiers that improve what I've done. Uh, maybe I'm using survival bow, so the additional, like, true additional damage is hitting even harder. Or additional magic damage. You pick the right items to boost up what is going on with, um, with your magic damage, crystal sword, fighter, whatever it may be. If you go HR and a gray gear, mobs turn normal. Next gear tier gets harder. Hmm. Maybe, yeah. So maybe, like, Maybe normals is just, like, like, what's it called? Like, level one of the gear stuff? And you're saying that everyone in there is, like, gray gear or, like, whites. And then if you're in the middle bracket, you're, you're basically in HR level mobs. Interesting. They do, like, both. Like, they mix both ideas together. Huh. Um, problem is that it makes you feel like you have to do it to compete. Previously, it was just more random, so you would get games where people weren't min-maxing as much. Now, if you see somebody with gear, they're going to be full damage kit when you aren't, so it's more unfair feeling. Yeah, but, like, yes. Yes and no. I, I don't think we should be, like, I don't think we should be, like, limiting every decision you can make. Um... And yes, people will min-max, but what else is there? Um, if I if I'm not like having fun crafting a build that I a build that I think is powerful, or like I, I can't find like if I find a ring that's like plus three additional damage, and I'm like, oh fuck, this is gonna be so nice for my class. Um, you know, I want to be able to use it and feel strong. And that's the thing. Like you don't want to just like not have. The opportunity to use your good gear. Which I think, when I was watching Repose yesterday, he's like, why are we even farming, like, purples and, or trying to get uniques and purples? Because there's no one to actually fight against them with. There's, like, we're never going to get to use those against other players. <laughs> you know? Um, someone in random purples, you'll be able to beat them with, like, min-max blues. Why even pair the two in the first place? Um, true. But the guy in random purples has a lot better chance than... A guy in random whites, or random greens. <clears throat> Just the stat, the additional stats he's picking up, if he selects purples, if he selects, like, decent options for his class, and he's not an idiot, um, he can, like, build a decent kit without any real, like, crazy modifier rolls. He, he can, like, feel strong and not die instantly. So, I say skill issue to that man. Maybe. Blue is better than Max. Yeah, blues are good. Um, but... They're not, they're not uniques, so it's, it's still better. 
I feel like my games are pretty balanced. I honestly had a lot of fun. Um, maybe we go in without anything and see what happens. I don't know what our gear score is. Apparently everyone's doing this gear score stuff now. I don't really know or care too much. I just want to use spear and see what happens. Um, X-Bones, thank you for that follow. Get me a job at Iron Mace, I'll fix it, bro. They need to keep Multiclassic Test Server exclusive. It's good that there's a test server for those things, but I really hope Iron Mace knows what may happen. Okay, anytime... Anytime... Anytime the community has, like... Let's say, I wanna, curiosities is maybe a, a, a too nice a word for some of the stuff that gets, gets shared around. Anytime, like, we have, like issues I suppose or like the general the general like there's like these waves of conversation that just like keep keep hammering the shores at, at Iron Mice HQ um those things are always from from what I gather and understand I have never watched a dev Q&A where they brought like someone from the community brought up something like they thought was like really positive or negative or whatever Something they were really, really concerned about, and, like, general consensus was like, Hey, this is an issue, we need to talk about this. I've never witnessed Terrence or SDF being like, Oh, yeah, we had no idea that that interaction was gonna happen, or... Oh, fuck, yeah, like, shit. Uh, who, like, who would have thought that that was gonna work that way? Oftentimes they know, <laughs> and they're aware that, like, this could be a problem. Uh, we're trying to develop a way to make it fun and solve the problem. As quickly as possible. So I'm never like, I never get too caught up in like all the naysaying stuff because it's like 90% of the time I'm like under, I'm, in, I'm under the understanding that's like they're already aware of this, but they, they're they testing it anyway. They, they know, like they're, they're terrified, Nomak. Like they're probably terrified it's going to go horribly wrong, but they still want to test it. It's like th they're aware of the risk. So I don't, I, I always find it interesting because we get so caught up in like, well, we gotta like let the devs know this is gonna fucking break the game. And meanwhile, SDF and Terrence are just like, mm-hmm, yeah, we know about this. Uh, but, um, we want to test it, we're gonna break the game for a bit. Maybe we'll remove all additional modifiers for a day, like, you know. They, they kind of know. <laughs> yeah, and they, they don't mind throwing a rollback. I did laugh when the last, um, not this latest, um, patch... It said, like, improved, um, stability, and then they're like, everyone's like, oh, fuck, there's a, there might be a rollback, the servers are fucked, like, everything was going bad. And right on the patch notes, it was like, improved stability was the big thing when you log into the game. Yeah, people think they do the patch 30 minutes before they go live? Yeah, they have an entire roadmap, exactly, yeah. So I'm, I'm never, like, too caught up in, like, oh, man, like, we gotta let them know, guys. We gotta let them know how strong Smite on Barbarian is. I think they're just like, yeah, that shit's gonna happen. Let's see. Let's give it a week or a couple days. Let's just see how bad it gets. If it's really insufferable, there'll be changes. So that's pretty much why we're we're in early access still. Do you personally enjoy min maxing? Ooh, this is, I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I haven't been reading that full conversation. Simulated stimuli. Thank you for that follow. Very, very kind of you. We're trying Breakthrough. I do have a video that's going to come out. Watch me get some amazing, um, amazing clips tonight that I could have put in the video. I honestly recorded some of them on my other PCs, so they're like, it was just, it's a shit show right now trying to manage two PCs and like inside, outside. This is going to be the problem right here. Kelly Strike Barbarian. Yeah. This is like, for all attributes, additional move speed. God, I don't know how I'm supposed to deal with that. Uh, thoughts on gear-based matchmaking now that's been out for a while. Uh, Coyote, we were just discussing it a bit. I think three three separate tiers is probably too much. Um, we were talking about, like, how do we get more normals, normal players in HR? Because normals is just so fucking fun. Uh, like, how do we get them into HR? Also, I think, like, the dead lobbies at the top is frustrating, obviously. When you're at the top end of gear. But I'm really not surprised... Because we've split the queue now three ways. And I think HR right now would probably be... Would, would we say that HR is like less played than normals? And then you say, okay, how many people are sweating with like perfect gear on all the time in HR? You're, you're thinking even less people? So like... 
the player base at the very top was always small, which is the reason why they used to do... It's why they did the freaking lobbies where um, everyone queued together with gold gear. Because there was no one in those lobbies with good gear. Even before. So, I, I understand everyone's like really upset about it right now, but this was always a problem. It's just before those lobbies were getting populated with players that didn't belong there. Now, th that player base doesn't really exist, is my opinion. So, like who wants, who, like how long have we been playing Dark and Darker? Where you queue into HR, and you're just praying you don't get some giga-juiced guy or team destroying everyone in the lobby. Like, I, I don't play enough to have, like, 20k gold kits, like, 20k gold to invest in my kit every time I queue into the game. Uh, and I think a lot of the player base is probably the same way. So that's my take on... It's It sucks. I wish the lobbies were full at the top, but I'm really not surprised. I think they need to maybe just limit it to, like, two separate tiers. Um... I think there's probably some really good players that are now, like, putting less gear on to queue into those lobbies, and obviously that's gonna piss off people because they're like, well, these guys shouldn't be in my lobby, they're too good, but then those guys can't really play the game because there's no one running the best gear in the game right now, consistently. Um, just split it in half, I don't know, like, go up to blue, go up to blue on the lower tier, and then up to, like, purples and up on the high tier. I don't know. That would be, like, if you have blues and, like, blue- purples with a lot of- Okay. Blues with a lot of purples, maybe you're in the upper tier. Um. Can I get another phone call? Jesus Christ, I can't get a break. No, not answering that. I've got, like, six- I've had, like, ten phone calls today. I think they just need to limit- just remove one somehow. I don't know how. But, it needs to happen. Uh We'll see. I don't... I'm not even sure what the tiers are currently. Like, is, is green with a bit of blues, does that put me in mid-brackets? I haven't really checked, um... Like, I know there's a, like, sheet going around that, like, tells you where you want to be. Uh, I haven't really bothered. If I find gear in the dungeon, I'm just gonna put it on and re -queue. That's my plan. So, yeah. Just don't do gear scores. Hmm. So then what... What's the... Solution then? What are, what are the other options? Like, I'm not a game dev. I'm, <laughs> I've said this before, I'm just a guy that lives in the woods, so like... <laughs> what, what are our options? I still think the solution might be lowering overall gear effectiveness. Yeah. They did, like... They did tune it a little bit. Um... So all attributes is way down. I'm sure the experience is probably like a lot more, a lot different in, in trios, because you can't stack like plus nine all attributes anymore, and a whole bunch of additional damage. But I feel like it's less. You don't feel that as much in in normals or um in solos. Plus all needs to be removed. You think so? I really don't think plus all is that. I mean, I think it's good on certain pants, but on fighter class, I feel like on fighter class it's probably one of the better options, but you're probably going to want armor rating, and then health. So, like, three vigor, in my opinion, might be better than just us all, depending on what, what your kit's looking like. Plus two, all a different story. That changes a lot. I don't know, I noticed things have gotten a lot cheaper with the whole plus all reduction. I agree with that. Someone says limit the gap, like make purple abyss sets 20% more powerful than someone in blues and greens. Yep. Yeah, no, I don't disagree with that at all. I still think, like, purple weapons compared to, like, certain green. There's a reason why a purple crystal sword is, like, 400 and a blue one is 80. Crystal Sword's like the one that's like very, very evident. Because you have double stat rolls, additional weapon damage, and additional magic damage, so... You're, you're up, like, you're double upgrading from purple to, uh, to blue. Crazy. Hopefully I don't get called again, but I might. I'm getting called a lot today.
Like I said, last night was a crazy night. Um, I, hmm. How can I share this story without getting, like, too... I don't want to get too invested in it in the same way. Um, basically, I had the cops at my house last night. Yeah, I had... I had officers at my yard. Which was fun. Let's just say one of my neighbors was doing some really stupid shit, and, um... Fuck, what a bad evening. Anyway. Yeah. Nothing happened, of course, because basically, um... If you have... If you have, like, any problems, they have to catch people in the act. Or you either have to record them, or videotape, like, illegal shit happening. Did Ricky Stash get raided? No. It was just, like... Yeah. G alcohol and guns, man. That just don't... If you guys are into either of those things, just try not to combine them. Like, why do we have to combine them? And driving. Like, why do we have to combine those things? Such a bad mixture. Um, fucking door. Such a bad mixer. Out here streaming like some sort of city folk? Yeah. Um, too much room for exploits with gear-based matchmaking, in my opinion. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. I haven't played it enough to really, like... I'm one of those people that doesn't really feel the need to exploit it. Alcohol makes driving extra spicy? Alcohol yeah. Alcohol makes driving extra spicy. I can't say I recommend that. That is against TOS. <laughs> yeah. Just imagine driving a tractor around with a shotgun while drinking. That's spicy. Yeah. That's what was going on. So. Someone was having a lot of fun. Just said. I heard some shit. Um. Problem is, when you need an exploit to be able to play, which I, it seems like we're heading that way. Hmm. Well, you don't. But. People will do anything for an advantage. And. Everyone's gonna exploit for an advantage. Your asshole. It's gonna hit me. Probably right. Knock the door down. Come on. 18 seconds on sprint now. I gotta reload this. Yeah, so last night I didn't get any sleep at all. Oh, it was fucking awful. Us YouTube folks love a couple of beers on the way home from work. <laughs> Jesus. The crazy thing is, I know so many people that do that shit. Ooh! I did not hear him. I looked at chat. I blame you guys. Come on. There's a health friend back here. One sec. What? Oh, I didn't hit him. How'd that first spear thrust? Go right into his face. Shit. Long sword's so good, too. Damn. Three additional weapons sword. Well, wow. bastard. See, this is like, this is what I kind of like. Um, Warlock and Cloth, better fighter, yeah. Um, I kind of like, uh, like going in there and like you're kind of finding shit on the way. Like he found a, perp a blue longsword, I'm, I'm guessing. I don't know if he brought that in with him or not. But if he found that, it was like, holy shit, like I just like powered up. Um, let's use this thing to chop some heads off. I'm using like a gray spear. It's kind of cool experience, you know, you feel like you're like gaining strength. As you go through. Um, it's kind of cool. Where in normals, you don't really find anything that exciting. You don't. So, we're just going to run. We're just going to, like, try to, like, we're just running some games and chatting. I'm not really too frustrated with what's what's on tonight. I just want to, like, put myself in bad situations with Spear and see if I can survive. Old man gave me that when I was in grade 7, 9mm. Safety always off. He told me he was proud of me once. Fucking prick. Oh, Jesus. Normal's pretty tame. I go in there, I'm feeling super chill. Yeah, normal's super chill. This, um... We're just testing out, like, what else we're gonna find. Like, yeah. see, this is like, he's gonna level up basically as we go. Like, these are people in Squire Kits, which is kind of cool. That's why I love norms. Yeah, I just feel like there's... 
there's some like there's some items like you find so much blue and purple gear you're almost like crafting a build as you go through an hr game where in normal sometimes you're like eh, are the greens really making that much difference if you find like a really awesome purple piece like while you're going through an hr game and fighting people it feels so fun what level you i think i'm like level 38 or 39 Dan tap for someone to sleep. I gotta pull an all-nighter tonight to cram the research report in. Oh, yeah. When I was in university, I was... I was a firm believer in, like, I wouldn't do any, like, any school shit before 5 o'clock. Um, like, 5, like, p.m. Like, after I'd had, like, supper and stuff. But then after that, I was in, like, three or four sports. So I did, like, a whole bunch of hockey. I was doing a whole bunch of soccer. Indoor soccer, outdoor soccer. So basically full year-round. Um, we did like broom ball. I did indoor hockey in the gym. I was in the gym all the time just like doing like pickup soccer with people um, And then I was partying Friday Saturday, so Most times it was like 1 a.m. I'd start my school stuff. So I'd be in the gym to like midnight until close Or in the hockey rink or whatever a lot of my hockey games would be like 10 30 p.m. 11 30 p.m. like the last the last ice time they had at the rinks um so we do a lot of tournaments and stuff, so I was never doing stuff before, like, midnight. Most of my studying or research and report writing was done, like, hours before the class. Uh, like, three or four in the morning, you know, that kind of stuff. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Not a good idea either. What kind of redneck nonsense is Broomball? Ah, have you not heard of Broomball? It's basically... Oh, fuck. It's one of the most hilarious things... So, you, you sprint around a sheet of ice, so it's dangerous as fuck, super dangerous, you're on a hockey rink, but you have shoes on. Um, like, you don't have grippers, you don't have, like, um, anything to help your, um, grip. And sometimes, if you were lucky, they would, um, they would leave the ice service, like, after the game before, so it was kind of, like, marked up. Um, so you actually could, like, run around and not kill yourself. But the nights where they flooded the rink before you got there was it was terrifying. You're full sprinting with like a there's a ball, literally a ball. You're smashing around with a mallet, like a like a basically a rubber mallet thing, and you smash this ball around and try to score on hockey nets. Yeah, like you're swinging a club at this ball that's rolling around a sheet of ice. Oh, it's the funniest shit. And they're like co-ed games and stuff. It's so funny, man. So funny. My local rink does broomball every Friday night for college night, and it's great, man. I, <laughs> it was crazy fun. Yeah, just dangerous as hell. I can't believe they used to let us do that. Most times you'd have a few drinks maybe even before or something. <sighs> crazy, crazy, crazy. <clears throat> I wish I brought a pickaxe in, because copper's actually worth it. We must all fear evil men, but there's another kind of evil which we must fear most, and that is the indifference of good men. Hmm. Please? 7 TV, one second. I saw your message. We don't have snow. Maybe that's why I've never heard of it. Yeah, it's, it's a it's a probably very Canadian thing. Shadow Striker, thank you for that. We're gonna see what Soapy wants to add to our 7 TV. <laughs> okay. Really mad. Okay. I hear somebody as well. How do I... I'm not signed in. God damn it, Soapy. Just taking over the entire... Oh! Little prick. One second. Use emotes. There. Should be added. I might have hit him. Look at this little guy. Get him, Archer, dude. Are those hitting, like, high enough? That, I think that hit him. Oh, yeah, that. That got him out of his little crab hole. And that, that definitely did, too. But we got a bard pushing us, and he's gonna be fast as fuck. Too bad I'm not slowed anymore. We can we can break through, like we can cleanse his lament. But um, if he does too, like quickly, uh, it's gonna be tricky because I don't think a second one shouldn't apply if we have um, if we have breakthrough on. I do need some gear to fight this guy though. I wouldn't mind finding like a nice spear or a weapon of some kind. I don't think I looted all these, or the table. 
Hmm. Hope he's trying to get Wilson killed, yeah. Oh my god. Pickaxe. What a find. He's like... I, I alerted this little shit. And then if I step down there, I alert the other one too. One second. Probably gonna get survival mode if he has one. Fuck. So frustrating, these guys. I hate how they aggro when you're not... You're not down there with them. Spear does no damage either. This is why I need Shadow Touch. To just freely heal. Okay, good. This is their time. This is their moment. Come on. Get one of these off before we fight him, maybe. Oh, God. He's gonna be quick. Get off the door open for me, though, over there. Took you long enough? Yeah. No broom ball in Florida? No, there probably would not be broom ball in Florida. I wonder what I can find here. Could be game changing if I find something. Horseman's axe probably not going to change much. I know we're letting him buff. I was hoping for like a purple spear. Air trap. Well, <clears throat> yeah, local rinks probably do broom ball if they're like, if they're fun people. I never really thought about it being a Canadian thing, but it does make sense. You need a nice surface to do it. There's a lot of people being very... Yeah, I was gonna say. You think we just... We just eat the lament and trick them into thinking we're... Oh, I don't want to eat that, though. Come on. He thinks we're slowed, right? Come on, please. Thank God. Okay. You just pull spear in mid chest. Uh, ooh! This bastard was waiting there the whole time, wasn't he? No crossbow. Stay out there. Stay out there, you little bastard. Come on. Please hit him. Okay. This fucking spear. Oh my god, we got him. Don't kill me, mobs. I worked so hard for this. Please. No. Oh. The grunt. Yeah, I've... I had to. It was, um... That... It was... My... Was very clenched. <laughs> very clenched. I did not think I was killing him. Oh. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He fell off, right? Somewhere. Uh, what? I thought I killed him, like, right here and jumped off. Am I blind? Where's this little rogue's body? I guess we go loot the bard first. I don't know. I'm... So confused. Is he here? Oh, okay. Thought it was closer. Um, good. Naked rogue dead. Two spirits, I guess we'll do it. Yeah, people in chat were saying that I grunt sometimes. I didn't believe them, but maybe, uh, maybe it is true. Maybe in the heat of the moment it does happen. Wilson tapping back into prime royal days with his crafts. Uh, okay, where's where's the bard at? Where'd I kill him? Uh, he was over here, wasn't he? It's like I'm running out of meds. I think he was over here. 
Is this guy opened the door the second I killed him, yeah. It's okay to get a little feral sometimes, yeah. It's all the wrestling I do with Sasquatches. It, um, very much contributes to that. You know? Very much necessary. It's how they judge your fitness levels. They know you're not messing around with a good grunt. Almost exemplar in duos by playing it solo. Being able to get 2 to 330 luck in gear and staying below 2,200 gear score. Getting into naked lobbies is he Wow. Genius. Do you mean genius? Or is that... I don't... I'm kind of... What's he... What's that word mean? Is that a denim hat? My hat? No. Hmm. Oh, let's put these on. All right. Heinous? Heinous? Yeah. That mean. Yeah. Nasty or terrible? Yeah, I know what heinous, like heinous, heinous, heinous. I know it means terrible. But I'm, I think, I guess I'm thinking the same word. It's nasty? Okay. That's probably what he Hmm. Maybe I keep the dex pants. Huh. And then we pick up the blues. Alright, I could mine, too. Copper is worth a lot of money. Uh, I just don't want to mine in, in zone. Oh. We have killed two guys already. This guy didn't have anything exciting for me, did he? I guess we go mine, take that exit. <clears throat> Thought I saw copper somewhere here close. How many meds do I have? A lot. I always... Maybe I pronounced it wrong. Sucks that all my kits I was hoarding are worthless now, but it's nice to get decent kits for like four or five hundred gb Yeah. I lost... I lost some... I didn't invest a lot of money, but I saw some people that said they lost like 20k or something. No room. Shit. I... will just keep mining for now. I'll decide later. Hmm. This still one's probably worth nothing. This is probably worth nothing. I'll get rid of those. I'll get rid of my arrows if I'm not gonna fight. Yeah, that's probably a better idea. Oh, shit. It's friggin' raining. Keep mining. You got no room? I know. I'll pick it up after. Uh, originally, when I thought that used to happen, I thought it would just, like disappeared. You know, you never got it. But at least I've learned from those mistakes. Should be able to get five, hopefully. But I'm glad those Timmy Rollers lost all their plus twos. They're ruining, running in new fight lobbies. Oh, yeah. We, like, it was kind of hilarious because we did, like, we did the trio night, and we're like, okay, it's definitely because Sophie's Pathfinder. Like, that's why we're running into these guys with, like, god gear. And then we did games with, like, literally no gear on. And the only people in those games were also, like, amazing gear. Like, plus two all attributes all the way across the board. Fuck, this thing just doesn't stop, does it? I might have to go, though. I think I have to go. Uh, plus one all is max, yeah. We might have been able to sneak another one in there, but someone would probably steal this on me. We love mining. Copper is just so valuable. And I think I even have, um... This guy probably found all this. Uh, I probably found some of this in there, right? Yeah. yeah. Definitely came in here with base kit as well. This guy. See, this is cool. Like, people are kind of, like, gearing up as you go. So I kind of enjoy that. You never know what you're going to run into. People aren't, like, crazy geared. They might get super lucky and find a nice piece. If, if Starlink starts fucking up, it's because it's downpouring. I had no idea it was supposed to rain tonight. So if you guys get some frame drops, um, not my fault. The weather changed. I was supposed to sell some of this stuff. I sold a bit. Um, copper is worth a fair bit. I think, I, like I said, I had some copper stuff made. And I don't know if it's, like, super meta now, but I'm hearing, like, rumors of people, um... That are trying to, like, min-max, you know, the whole min-max crowd that everyone is tired of. Uh, I heard that they're, like, everyone's just, like, running 
greens, but like copper now, so they're getting like the additional move speed. Never really thought about copper going way up in price with uh I should have known, really. It should have been an easy, pretty simple indicator. If you can like the best green items in the game are probably the copper stuff. Because of the move speed bonus, and now of course, you know, people have like a real good reason to want to use them. Let's just take a look at what like copper riveted gloves are worth. I, I made some of these way back when it was three by three. Uh -huh. when it was three by three goblin caves. And it was very easy to mine. Mm, not too bad. I don't think it's worth it to use your copper on it, I don't think. I guess you could get some crazy stuff. Like what's um can you get armor rating? 500 gold for six armor rating. Okay. Action speed. Not even existent. Okay. What about dexterity? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Oh god. Um Jesus. Alright, so maybe we should be like rolling some of this into gear. Like what do you guys think? <laughs> Is there are there min maxers to be exploited here? Uh, copper like gauntlets. I think they already have vigor, so they can't get that. But maybe armor rating and action speed. Uh, agility. I think they have as a base stat. So dexterity. What the hell? Why are there none? What? There's only one pair. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Three hundred and fifty gold. I thought there'd be way more of those, but maybe everyone's doing riveted gloves. Uh, copper light boots. There's an interesting one. Copper light boots. Okay, 200 gold a piece. Yeah, that's not bad. Sorry, frame drop's not acceptable. Yeah, I apologize. Exploiting the exploiters. Yep, exactly. I got like six stacks of copper powder for 400 G a few days ago. Yeah, it's... I don't think you can do that now. I don't think so. There's only like two pages of these, and the cheapest one is 200. So if you even get like a half decent roll on this, like plus three physical power, you're looking at 500 gold. Um, we have we have seven copper ore. Do we try to make a pair of lightfoot boots? Does our vendor even sell them so we can make them? Uh, no. Nope. So let's see what a pair of white lightfoot boots costs. Bet you they went way up too. Or do they even exist? A hundred gold. <laughs> okay. Man, there's some good money to be had in, like, whites that are used for crafting. Interesting. I mean, a hundred golds have something. Like, that can buy you a pretty decent set of gear, piece of gear right now. Um, you know, it feels weird, like, the valuation of some things. You can get into some good gear so cheap. Alright. <clears throat> These would probably just... I think I just sell those. Maybe we keep those for some... Other adventure. We'll just run what we have on. See what it, where it puts us. I could buy a spear, maybe. It could help me a little bit. I'm just gonna run, like, the gear I have until I die, kind of thing. See what happens. Uh, well, maybe we could take a couple... Take one protection pot. And see what a spear goes for. I remember spears, like, purple spears were getting really crazy expensive. For no reason. Maybe just because of, um, yeah, they were like three or four hundred at least. I wonder if this is, this is, okay, I wonder if this is why I was selling gray surge goods for 200 lately, yeah. Also, people need to do the surgical quick kit. Sleepy Sloth, they need to do the surge kit quest. I think I need to do it as well. Um, uh, so, yeah, they're probably buying surge kits to just finish the quest as well. Wow, 50 gold for a purple. What's a, what's a uncommon? Let's go with a green. 80 gold. Green spear. Alright. We're not gonna go too crazy here. This feels really silly to buy a green one for almost 100 when I can buy a rare one for like the same price. Yeah. But, you know, it's gonna is it gonna put me in a bracket where I'm in with all the sweats now? Oh no. What have I done to myself? We'll probably just pick up a crossbow off our, our vendor. Easy. Good. This counts as utility? Oh no, what are we doing? This purple, we'll probably take that off and put like a, just a blue helmet on. I think leather caps might be decent valuable because of Slayer Fighters. 
because they exist. I don't know how I feel about wearing a heavy gambeson either, considering I'm trying to use spear, which requires me to be very, very light. Like 278 movement speed is a... That's nothing. That's not good. This is better. I'd almost rather do this. What's my PDR? 30% though. <sighs> Shit. It's probably the cloth pants that are screwing me. I have like no PDR. Hmm. What do I have for gloves? That's probably... We'll do this. Nice. Alright, we'll do this. See how if we can survive. We're gonna be super light, but... And by light, I mean we're gonna die in like one Zwei Hinder Swing. So, <laughs> even though we're running Breakthrough, and we're, if he has Achilles Strike, we'll, we'll cleanse the Achilles Strike. But we we'll probably won't survive too long after. Uh, this is a mess here, isn't it? It's almost, it's like a risk because you don't want to hit your Breakthrough before they land a, uh, a melee hit. Because you only have like 8 seconds to make the most of it. But if they hit you with the one, it's super hard to react in time to um, to make Breakthrough like successful. So, it's, it's, it's kind of weird. I want to kind of just get into melee and use it. We'll just go with this, whatever. This looks fine. Just let it rock. The only real way to play, in my opinion. New gear based matchmaking means everyone wants greens. Also wondering whether you tried Shield Slam with the new cooldown. Yeah, I did. I did a little bit of Shield Slam last stream to start it off, I think. Uh, the issue that will always be an issue with Shield Slam, no matter how much they buff it, is that iron will exist, and it's very popular on... Oh god, it's very, very popular on Barbarian. So, basically the one melee class that you want to keep off you, you can't. <laughs> like, so... I love Shield Slam for so many other things. But really, do I need to be using Shield Slam against, like, a Ranger? No. I should just be hitting the Ranger with my sword. Like, do I re like, once in a while, it kind of helps, like, keep a rogue off you if you get, like, surprised by a rogue. Uh, and maybe a warlock at times, if they have, like, a demon form warlock that's, like, trying to, like, burst you down quickly or surprise you with blow corruption. You might be able to get some spacing with it. But barbarian, it's almost, like, it's rare to see a barbarian not using uh, iron will. So it just, like, kills, it kind of kills your opportunity to, like, have a successful shield slam interaction because that 20% slow is nothing. It's not enough. It's not enough. Are you fucking kidding me? That's how we're gonna start this? It's not enough to like really change the fight that much. He's just gonna do barbarian things and hit you with his right-hander while also probably hitting you with the killie strike. So you're gonna be even slower. Yeah. I honestly think breakthrough is better than shield slam for sure. It allows you, it gives you more options. Um, Shield Slam puts you in like a super risky situations. Hmm. Warhammer. You guys think they buff Warhammer ever? Why is it like, does it ever get used? I don't fucking use it. Move speed bonus and max health. What's that gonna do for our move speed? Two additional move speed? Oh, three additional move speed. We'll be quiet today in office plus side. Finance team looking damn good today. Nice. I, um... Yeah, I gotta... I still gotta do my taxes. I gotta do that. Good. I have all the documents. I just gotta submit them. Is more Shield Slam worse than Breakthrough Sacrilege? Yeah. Shield Slam's more fun. I think. Right? I could probably say it's more fun. It's more hilarious. But, uh, it's really hard to pull off. Do I risk the two hits? Oh. I'm gonna aim slightly to the left. These guys love to throw slightly to your left. I gotta do my taxes, yeah. No, I always do. Mm-hmm. I make my... I usually just give them to my mom and she does, like, turbo tax. It's, like, super easy. I've just had a lot of shit going on. For all these. I think I'm really gonna need those. You never know. We do have a lockpick, so we probably should speed this up a little. It's nice having dexterity. I'm noticing it. I also still have that pickaxe. Fuck. This shit takes up so much of my space. It's not even locked. Good thing I did all that. Are these bugged? Like, do we do we have a any word from Iron Mace why we're able to, to 
use these freely. Those on. I need that for quests. True physical. Three strength, three agi. I guess we'll take the three strength, three agi. Whatever. I'll be moving a little faster. I won't be as... As armored up. I thought I hurt somebody. I didn't mean to do that. Gotta love, um, yeah, she... <laughs> Mine is, like, super easy to do, but... I've just been, like, delaying it. Any buff the range on the first swing, so I stopped trolling myself with uh, shield slam? Definitely, yeah. Seven armor rating. Hmm. Picking up a bunch of junk here. I don't know what to do here. I like the dexterity and the vigor, but hmm. you know, ah oh, man, what a tough decision. Why do I put myself in these situations? The three strength is going to be helpful. What's almost ten percent physical damage power? Warhammer first swing. Oh yes, yeah. Warhammer. Warmer first swing is like one of the most frustrating swings. Very, very frustrating. Fuck the pickaxe, we're probably gonna need this. Okay. You just use adrenaline rush, right? I can't believe I missed that. I'm so dead. Oh, I tried to turn. I had it the headshot. He ducked down. Oh. Oh, he might be dead. A falchion was gonna two tap me. I already knew it. All attributes, true match, true physical. Some decent stuff. I think I hit the headshot. I might have a chance because it slows him down. Oh. Well done, rogue. Round of applause for the rogues out there. Well done, man. <laughs> Just suicided into him. Uh, what a what a what a loss of gear. Another Slayer, man. Slayer with like blue gear is scary as hell. Yeah, it's a lot of additional damage. We were trying to play fast. I just missed my swing. Road clearing up, yep. There are no winners in war. That's just like a classic, like, when I think of, like, D&D at its, like, most, like, when it was, like, very, like, first release. I remember playing Rogue for a bit. Um, my first class I got to level 20 was a Rogue in Playtest 3, I think it was. And, my god, the amount of times you'd have, like, poison on and there'd be another Rogue and you'd just be shanking each other and you'd both fall over. So funny. Um, I played Barbarian... Because I watched Lyric play a bunch of Barbarian and thought it was hilarious. Uh, because he'd buy, like, purple and blue Zweihanders and just, like, die repeatedly. Um. I was a Slayer, yeah, nice fight. I couldn't, I couldn't get the spear hit. I couldn't get the spear hit. We started okay, then you get the Hell Shrine, I was like, oh god. How do I get away from this man? Spear is scary, yeah. If you can land that stab, it's, it's like... I can probably get another hit in before we trade the hits, right? Ideally. But if you miss the first one, if you get in my sour spot range, it's it's rough. I think like Slayer would be a really hard Slayer and obviously Barbarians are really tough to deal with. Just about everything. Um any class that's a little bit slower than your spear is fucking amazing. Spamming us yeah, I know, yeah. Just spam the M1, yeah. It's kind of funny because once if you if you're not, if you're like using spear a bunch, um, and then you're not used to like having any dexterity at all, so you kind of get like a feel for it. The second you put on like ten percent action speed, you start to screw yourself up because you're clicking, like you know what I mean. Like your your second hit's coming out way faster. So you're, oh fuck, <laughs> this feels so different. So there is kind of that there's those moments where I'm like fuck, I wish I hadn't a song twice there. Um. It recovers fast from the first swing, yep. You should just be spamming the first one, like, keeping them away from it. The second one's only good, like, mix in once in a while. When you know, you like, you have no options left. I kind of hate this spawn sometimes. I, I often fuck this up and take a bunch of damage. I, I want to do Spear Achilles, yeah. 
I just don't know about leveling up a barbarian. Um, max range poke into another poke, probably even two. Like, what a horrible place to spawn. I hate it here. I really want to like experiment with spear Achilles, but man, I missed. Come on. I'm not going out there. I've gone out there and gotten brave in this corner before, and it leads to me losing a lot of HP. Get hit by that bola and then comboed into this shit. It's awful. Spear Achilles, max movement, literally a naked man with a spear and Achilles. Oh, trust me, I dream of that. I leveled Warlock thinking I would be doing, um, like, Bloodstained Blade and whatnot. But then I kind of got realizing... Damn, I'm gonna have to get super lucky. <laughs> like, incredibly lucky to get any of the spells I want. I also dream of a <laughs> uh, No, last night I had a dream. You know what my, 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 my nightmare was last night? I planted a bunch of apple trees and the deer came and ate, ate them all. Like, ate them all off. So all that work was for nothing. That was my nightmare. Crazy. There's a guy close to me, too. Let's dissect that. <laughs> no. I dream of fucking angry deer. Or me being angry with deer. Rather. Terrifying? Yep. Fucking horrifying. I have a war. Like, you guys don't understand. It's a never-ending battle with those bastards. Never-ending battle. They're so crafty. They're basically like large rodents. You know? They get into everything. And there's so many of them around. I hate it. Are you Canadian? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, if you didn't hear the broom ball conversation, I guess that was probably an early indicator. But no, I don't dream about naked men. I do dream about running around naked with spears in Dark and Darker. I think about it a lot. Like, man, how... I heard that, you little shit. Warlock. Crystal Sword Warlock, interesting. So he's gonna phantomize into me? Oh. Who would've thought? We have to push him here. Try to get some damage in before Phantomize comes back. It's just a never-ending game of him trying to get closer to me with Phantomize. We did this before in the exact same spot last night, and it was just awful. That might have hit him, actually. Well, maybe not. Shield now. Alright. I can't believe it didn't kill him. Oh, thank God. Thank you. Thank you, Adrenaline Spike. Thank you. Oh. So fucking close. Is this like a green kit? All attribute kit? Magical damage bonus, magical power? Oh yeah, this is a green kit. Magical damage bonus? Yeah. We found the exploiter. We slayed him. Was that a hell shrine up there? Um, yeah, it's crazy how close it was and I shot him before engaging. Yep. That is Blow Corruption Phantomized Warlock. It's a better melee class than Fighter. Not even kidding. Like, you can free engage. Uh, like you can f freely engage anybody without taking any damage. And then just Blow Corruption them for 90% of their health. <laughs> like, the only reason why I won that is because of Spear, I think. I could get a few hits in before he was on top of me. Hmm. Yeah. This guy crafted that for sure. Had to have. I, riveted gloves? Like, will they sell at green level now? Maybe. Oh, he has a cape. Fuck. Additional magic damage cape as well. 
could have put this on. I don't know why you didn't. I'm tempted to see what these greens are worth. Honestly. Uh, I'm very, very curious. Might be... Might be worth something? We'll see. Probably find better stuff here quickly if we actually do some looting. Yeah, green or gloves are like double the price of... <laughs> oh, God, are you kidding me? Oh, no, everyone just already turning on themselves. Ruining the... The lobby system. Fuck. Iron Mace knew it was coming, though. Guaranteed, right? No. Oh. Yeah, I hit him with my crossbow, I think. Yeah. And then... Still took, like, three spear hits. I didn't hit headshots, though, and I got kind of lucky in the last one. With your action speed going, landing that last spear hit... Oh. I, I find it so difficult sometimes. I really do. I find it difficult. Great Helm could be... I'm not really familiar with what, what's worth money right now, so like... I'm kind of like... Unsure, you know. I just look, there are 12 pages of blue riveted gloves with true, there are 2 pages of green, yeah. Alright. This has got bonus magical damage, so it's kind of a warlock. I bet all his gear will sell, he probably bought it all, I suppose. Yeah. Wait, are, is it... Does it make sense to take blue... to take blues out of here, or no? My least favorite thing about spear, that right there. You can jam it into the wall behind you. Oh. You wanna talk about horrible feelings in Dark and Darker? That's one of the most horrible feelings. It's like... super awful when that happens. Cause it's, it's usually at one of the worst moments... One of the mo worst moments you could possibly have. I just got too much stuff in here. Clean this out a bit. We're probably gonna need that magic pot. Hmm. We're actually strong, and they're probably just gonna get more more difficult to fight with multiclassing. Even though, like when I was on Warlock, it was kind of interesting. Someone looted over there. It was interesting to me to like just like experiment crossing over like Warlock into Fighter because, truthfully, there was nothing on Fighter I really wanted. Other than sprint. Don't we, I only take blues plus what I would equip now? Okay. There was a guy here. Yes. There's still a guy here. Gonna return fire. He's got a crossbow. He's a pretty speedy fighter. Oh, there's an... I heard more steps. Yeah, he went through the door, but I heard more steps over here. I think I did. Where'd he go? Did he just run? Man. I need to do more of that. Like, just waiting by a door. I feel like I often just stumble into somebody. Like, I know there's a guy close by or whatever. What happened here? Where did that green gas cloud come from? I'm always the one that's like, whatever, I'll just push through the door and like see what happens. And it's such a bad decision. But... I have a hard time telling myself not to do it. Real action speed, physical damage reduction, magical damage reduction? We'll take the strength ones. Strength and agi. Hmm. So spooky. Yeah, here we go. It's third party somebody. Somebody just left. Hmm. Must have been the fighter. Going the wrong way here. I gotta go back the way I came. I can't go into a closed door. I'm just gonna get cursed pain to death. So he's got spells, but what else? Does he have blow corruption? He can just keep casting on himself. Uh, 
a really tough spot to get there with a fucking obstacle in the way. I'll let him come out a bit, yeah. Alright. Warlocks can do it all, man. What am I supposed to do here? I have, like, no magic resistance. I heard him. I might have to go here. Of course. Typical. Typical warlock behavior. Oh, I fucked up. I lost the fight. Let's just use my get out of jail free card. Let's just use that. And then we reset both full HP and we have to do it again until I make the mistake and he doesn't. Or I get third partied. Oh. Stuff. We did we did everything right there, so. That's what it is. The only thing we didn't do was drink our our pop before. I could have chased after him, but I heard a guy beside me. Okay, negative Nancy. Look, Warlocks, man. <laughs> I've fought so many with Phantomize as fighter, and it's just it's just a tough, it's a very difficult fight. Um, you have to close the gap against... Usually they're faster than you, and they're sprinting away with book out. Hmm. Alright. Maybe that'll help. I got one, and I'm on the fence of... Wait, have you ever run a gem? Oh, yeah, no, I never have. I don't farm gems and stuff. So. Alright. It's craziness. I think he has... He's gonna do flame walk, too, once he gets a little bit pressured. So, yeah, he's got flame walk on. Should be time to good. I think we just chase him down here. Yep, we have to here. He's gonna get a distance. Fuck that miss. No! I hit it. Give me flame walk. Come on, please. You little bitch. I've won this like three times. <sighs> Jesus Christ. What more can I do? I need to get that first hit and I just wasn't close enough. <sighs> God. This is when I need like... Something other than second wind or um, breakthrough. <laughs> it's just like he can he can flame walk when uh, his breakthrough cooldown is just chilling, right? We'll take this just so he can't. Fuck him. We're gonna go though. We're running out of meds. This fight's going on for so long. Recurve bow would be good, but. Hmm. Tough. I don't know what more I can do there. This is kind of a hectic spot to be in, too, with a warlock right on us. Hmm. Gotta be up here somewhere, right? Waiting for us? Huh. Maybe he took static? There's a static over there. Before we get into trouble. Fuck it, I'll just close him in. He must have left. He had to have. It was just... It's so frustrating, because I felt like I was doing so many things right. We did good. Like, we pushed him at the right times. Um, but it was probably the best thing a fighter. Yeah, because once I use my crossbow, he knows. It's like... My crossbow's on a... On a cooldown, like I can't get back in the fight with crossbow easily. Um, I want someone to steal this. I don't want Warlock to show up and corner me in a bad spot either, but I do want to loot some more. Hmm. Maybe, 
Hopefully we'll get the chance to. I don't know if there's anyone else left or not. Whatever. We'll go grab some stuff. Tough. That was a good fight. Don't want to grab healing shrine. Yeah, this. Just don't have quite enough damage. Oh. We're leaving. We're leaving. <laughs> oh my god. Those are disgusting. Double max, almost max roll movement speed on Lightfoots? Are you kidding me? Holy shit. Oh my god. Good thing I'd see guys. Do not, do not leave without chesting. I could have looted the other one too without checking that last one. Damn. I hope they're expensive. Something tells me they should be. Um, and green gear. Let's just, let's do a quick little check here on riveted gloves. Let's get a feel for the whole market situation with, um, with all this, um, all these people running best in slot greens. 50 gold. Okay. Um, magical damage bonus. <laughs> look at all the, look at all the blues and look at the green in there. One green, two greens with magical damage bonus. Kind of funny. Um, I guess we list for like 70. Um, I might keep those gloves with action speed. I feel like, yeah, maybe it's not worth even taking like blues with like, I know Great Helm's decent for like clerics. Uh, but I don't know. Everything's changed so much. Yeah. 50 gold for a Great Helm. With, um, MDR. I think if I'm going to get a Great Helm, it needs to have additional magic damage. Or else I just don't pick it up. Yeah, okay. We just vendor that. Um, we keep the gloves for something we maybe want to do. Lightfoots will check on. I think we just vendor this. I'm going to check the boots as well. Or the, the pants. Greens are probably like better, better money than, um, what are they called? And they are uncommon and they have all attributes. I think these are probably the cheapest pants in the game though. 70, yeah. Not bad. Not very expensive at all, so that's good. Okay, last check. We do have to check Crystal Sword, because it's something I'm curious about. Um, blue Crystal Sword's gotta be worth like 80. Or 7. We'll do 75. Alright, good. The rest we just get rid of, and then we run again. I am gonna check um, what those Lightfoots are worth. Any any guesses before we venture into the marketplace for those Lightfoots? We did kill, um, we did kill a guy and he was stacking additional magic, which we don't really want. Additional magic, true magic, magical power, magical healing, yeah. Spellcasting speed and true magical damage, a pretty shit helmet. Um, put on some just, like, junk agility rings. And maybe, like, do you think the price of rings has gone way up? Nice to you, big skillet. I can't believe we found those boots. Oh, he sent me the gear, gear score. Nice. Yeah. I probably won't use it. Uh, I probably won't use it. 28 seconds is Phantomized cooldown? Huh. It's, uh, it's longer than I thought. Longer than I thought it was, honestly. And now it's not modified by willpower anymore, is it? So, it did kind of nerf him a bit. What lobbies are basically blues for the most part? Okay. Um, I'm gonna check out these light- like, what would, uh... I've, I'm just curious, like, double- I don't even know if these exist. Like, how many Lightfoot boots in the game have plus five additional and plus additional move speed, like, percentage? Where are they? Lightfoot boots. Rare. Okay. And then plus five additional move speed. I know additional move speed on its own is expensive. Yeah. Holy shit, okay. The plus five additional move speed is like 400. What are they worth with like both? <laughs> like, I've never experienced this before. Never even searched for a pair, you know? Plus five, I mean, they're probably worth like... Like two, like at least 1k, right? At least? Look up the other mod too. Um, wait... Move speed bonus? 
You only look at one at a time, right? Oh, yeah. Move speed bonus is, like, decently expensive. Like, I mean, 100 gold for blue ones, so. 150. And I have, a, I think I have almost, like, one of the better rolls on move speed bonus. Like, it's over one, which is kind of crazy. I don't know what those are worth. I really don't. Wherever they, where'd they go? Are they in my inventory? Where'd I, where'd I put them? Oh, here we go. Jesus. Yeah, it's not a bad roll. Yeah, it's tricky to price things with good rolls. I think they gotta be at least one, one uh, thousand or more. Yeah, thanks, thanks for that sheet, big scale up, but I, I'm not really concerned about trying to, like, min-max stuff. I will just, um, I'm just gonna, I'm just, like, basically going in with, like, no gear, and then whatever we acquire, we just roll in the next game. And if, um, if we acquire good things, it's gonna put us in better lobbies. I did buy a spear, though, so I had some sort of a chance. Uh, and then I did lose that spear, didn't I? I sort of just realized I was fighting everyone in that lobby with a gray spear. That's probably why old Warlock was getting away from us. Uh, so we'll buy a green one. We'll buy a green, uh, we'll buy a blue one again. It's probably put us into, like, too high gear, but we'll see. We earned it. And then, maybe switch this out as well. Yeah, that makes a bit more sense. We were probably hitting him twice, but unless we are doing two headshots, he was surviving them. If we had a better spear there, he might not have lived. He had to have been getting low, like, after casting... Like, after casting all his shit repeatedly, um, like his... Whatever it's called, the... The one that makes his feet on fire. Fire walker thing. Um, yeah, that takes some health, and so does casting Hydra. So if he's not Curse of Painting it, it is a little bit of a HP cost, but... I would have liked to have known how much magical healing he had. They heal quite quickly. Um, this helmet's kind of junk. Put on a Crusader helm. I wouldn't mind, like, a padded tunic or something as well, but, um... Visor Buda, Barbuda might have been worth something. Who knows? Padded tunic or light actin... Actin? I don't know how you say it. I don't think I, I don't think I want to go any heavier than that. Like, this is 290. It's not bad. 30% PDR. I don't mind that. Where am I getting all this movement speed from? The gloves is probably helping. I guess this has Agi, so everything I have pretty much is Agi, and then... Hmm. I like this. 290 is a good spot to be for movement speed, so we'll try this. Uh, I got all my stuff. I got some potions. Let's go again. Flame Walker, that's it. I knocked over my thermometer. I was thinking it was getting a little cold in here. Close that window. It is, for all you guys in the States, it's 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Let me see one second. I gotta get it. See that? 60. 15 degrees Celsius. I'm getting a little cold. Might even be a little less than 15 degrees Celsius. Too cold? Yeah. Might have to throw the heater on. Um... Um, they should treat it like classic WoW it treats Paladin Bubble. You get one per encounter. Holy God. That's crazy. I should look what I'm doing for damage. Zweihander Barbarian, as usual. Zweihander's just so good. It's got reach. It's got decent, not a horrible movement speed penalty. It's got pretty quick combination. That's hard to miss. If you're spacing properly, like... Jesus Christ. What have I done? <laughs> Why did I buy some gear? <laughs> okay, we have a chance. We have a chance. I mean, he's only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven additional damage with plus two all. And 170 HP before he rages. I mean, there's a chance. Right? I literally have to hit him like twice if he had no armor. Would get him to like 20 or 30 HP. But I have to hit him three times clean headshots. Like 
perfectly clean headshots. And I'm still probably not killing him. When he rages and stuff. Three headshots required? Yeah. This is when a recurve bow would be very nice because I'm I'm gonna shoot that crossbow and if I miss, uh I never get it back again because he just pressures me the whole time. A good barbarian will just pressure me the whole time. Yeah. He had Savage Roar? He didn't have Achilles? Oh, okay, so he's gonna reduce my damage if he gets close to me. Not many people sport the Jezerant. Um Yeah, I don't mind the ornate. You gotta remember to use jump to avoid headshots. Yeah. There's a lot of things I gotta remember. My hands are cold. I'm gonna have to turn the heat on after this. Gear-based matchmaking right there, yeah. So this is what I brought in, right? Yeah. Oh, look. I mean, he... He crafted that build. I could have easily crafted a blue build as well. You know, I'm literally just playing with the gear I find. Just to, like, see what happens. How quickly it launches me into that upper echelon. I, I mean, we... True, we bought... Action speed and agility. Thought we might need that. I didn't check what his movement speed was. Something tells me it's scary. Um, like, I put on a real shit set of gear, you know? And if I if I end up somehow killing him, which is very unlikely, I think... I think Barbarian is, like... Zweihander Barbarian is the most difficult thing in the game to fight. As a melee... as any melee class. If you even want to consider using melee against them, you usually die. So... Yeah, I saw Skinny Skinny Pete was using literally no skills and no abilities with Purple's Y-Hander and just... The player base, myself included, are so terrified of fighting that Barbarian because like 90%, 9 times out of 10, even if you do things like very, very well, 9 times out of 10, you, you're dead. You know, you're gonna die to that guy. So, so many people just run. Like, they literally just run from him. They don't even, like, try to fight. Once they see a barbarian, it's just, like, run. I don't have a choice. I know I know, I can't win this fight. My only option is to run. It's crazy, but that's the fear that, like, they have. Like, most classes, like, Warlock and Shitsy Fighter, and they're just like, oh, fuck, easy pickings. Like, let's harass the shit out of this guy, you know? If anyone sees a barbarian, it's like, get the fuck out of here. He's gonna kill us. Completely different, um, attitude. It's crazy. I don't blame people for running from Barbarian. It's like... I, I would be curious to know how much that Zwyander is hitting for. I don't know if you guys play Barb much, or, um... Have tested out a purple Zwy with that amount of strength while... While using Rage. But it's gonna be at least, like, 150, right? At least. You guys got a recurve bow, which is kind of scary. Are you fucked? I went through him somehow. This isn't good. I just wanted to hit him. There we go. Yeah, I don't mind if he wants to switch to range while he has his move speed buff. I'm okay with this. Alright, just taking some hits. Might be able to finesse this a little bit with my spear. Oh, that's the wrong one! I switched my hotkeys. There we go, second wind. Oh, I'm so dead. Get away from me. Second wind is a bitch. Here comes a recurve as well. Not great. Shit. I might have had to just commit there once the second win went off, but that falchion hurts. I don't have enough HP to survive enough hits. We go again. Maybe his movement speed buff's gone. Whiffson? Yeah. You guys you guys gotta see the song in the Discord. I gotta play it for you. Um it pretty much sums up my life. Really cool. I don't know who made it, or like someone from the community made it. Um, 
Maybe a silo, maybe? I think it was silo. I can't remember, but oh my god. It's so funny. Actually a good song. I don't know, like I'm not like a song I'm not a creative guy like that, so I don't know how they made it, but it did make me laugh. Watch them beyond this door. We're not gonna be full HP either. Noob, thank you for that. Follow. I accidentally switched my um crossbow because I I switched I recently switched my keybind so that one is my bow and two is my melee weapon. He's campfiring somewhere in the corner, isn't he? I should go find him. Should go find him. It's probably too late. Definitely in this corner, campfire. Oh. oh. I see strange light. He's right here. Oh, that might just hit him. Please break through. Save me. Play like a fighter, man. What am I supposed to do? This guy's toxic. He just went campfired. I should have chased him down quicker. Like, see what I mean by me, like, being the instigator? I'm literally opening the door, he gets two free hits, and then he's like, play like a fighter. You know what I mean? Play like a fighter, man. <laughs> like, I'm literally doing the riskiest thing in this situation. I'm trying to bait him into melee so I can get better at it. And I'm the one being, like, I don't know, it's, it's just a strange attitude. Apparently I'm not playing like a fighter. That was me, the Wilson Slayer song? It was an AI, okay, that's what I thought. I didn't know, though. You gonna be here again? Hiding behind doors? Where's he gonna be? Hmm. Um... Wait. Did you bite your thumb at me, sir? I might have missed that. Interesting. We're way faster than him. That's all we got going for us. Uh, but basically, yeah, three hits with that, with that combination, um, with his freaking little, um, falchion. I'm looking for something like an upgrade here of some kind. Something. A nice chest piece would be good. Max health. A whiff, son. That was so it was you. Yeah. So... Make, you make a song about me whiffing shots, and then also, um, a protection pot? Yeah, I'm gonna try a protection pot this next fight. One of those things I forget to do often. Might have been worth something, but... Put your shield down. Just for a second. Come on. How far can I get through there? Oh, that's not good. I gotta use breakthrough, not the second him swing. Oh, I'm so dead. He's sprinting. Oh, this isn't good. Holy fuck. We're just like... We're just not quite fast enough, right? He can catch us with sprint. Um, and he, he held on to his sprint well there. I used mine too early. I'm running out of meds too. Fuck. We started off good. I think we I think we try to force the issue now though. Like we don't let him get second win back. Because if he doesn't have second win, we probably have a, like, an actual chance of winning. I just need to do so much more damage. He gets 40% back. Campfire, I was thinking that, but he's gonna campfire too, so he might have to push this. Let's see what happens. 
just to force him a bit. Yeah, there we go. This is a tough fight to win, but I'm gonna try it here with my bow. Versus his bow. I used my sprint too early again. How's that not working? I'm so dead. I'm so dumb. I knew it. He finally got me. I just, I literally said, can't use my sprint too early. I used it too early to try to get some headshots in. I just couldn't. God. He had some friggin' PDR though. Fuck me. 55%. It's so close, like, you're, you're just, like, teasing, teasing his face with that spear, right? Ah, oh, it's tough. I think recurve bow there, like, I maybe should just get rid of crossbow and start doing weapon master recurve bow. Well, at least weapon master recurve bow, I can pressure the shit out of him. Um, I just can't pressure him enough with crossbow versus his recurve bow. Damn. Five additional move speed, yeah. Hmm. That was fun. I enjoyed that. If I could land the spear hit, I just need to, like, commit- I think I need to commit a little more to those headshots before. The fucking problem is, and I hate with Falchion, you literally don't have time, and Elon's gonna fuck my internet here for a sec. Like, before, it's almost impossible to get away from it if you're looking at him and they swing it. You know what I mean? Um, like, it comes out so quickly. If you get, like, a little too tight, it smacks you. And, like, even with a spear, I'm, like, dancing in that window where I'm like, okay, I gotta try to hit a spear headshot here. Um, but man, it's tough. I just need to be a little bit more committed to that. And maybe we press breakthrough. So if he does hit me, I can just get out of it. Because I wasn't really using Breakthrough as much as I should have been there, maybe. And I, was I just said I was using Sprint too early. And then I did it again to try to get a couple headshots in. <sighs> Interesting. I thought if I put Spear away, I might be able to get away from him. But obviously, I he still had time to do two, um, two Falchion hits. A little bit of action speed. He's probably got Sword Mastery on, so that second hit comes out super quick on Falchion. I don't understand why Fighter needed, um, like, Falchion needed Sword Mastery, but we have it now. You're better off with just Sprint. There's always a different background. Uh, I move around a lot. You may have won, but I think you have more fun. I'm, I just, like, it's a fun little experiment with Breakthrough. I'm just enjoying Spear. If they ever decide to give Fighter any, like, two-handed bonus of any kind, I'll be ready for it. Uh, like, right, right there is just not close enough, right? You know? Oh, I'm supposed to take Recurve Bow, too. Shit. Hmm. Wow. Let's take Recurve Bow. Don't tell me about the laptop. No, I don't. No. <laughs> not a laptop. Thousand range and pattern is just so good, I know. It's pretty much like... Okay. What would you guys think are the best two melee weapons in the game? I would say Falchion and Zweihander. And what do the swing patterns have in common? Wide sweeping swings with, like, good range. So it's, it's very difficult to miss. Rapier? I guess Rapier. Yep. I don't see- I don't see as much rape here, mainly because I don't- Like, rogues just don't engage much. They do a lot of hand crossbow shit. Longsword and Rondel Dagger. Interesting. I never made- <laughs> Rape here is probably terrifying for a ranger. Because you're moving like lightning speed. And getting just whacked to pieces. Yeah. Warm all. Uh, I don't know if I believe that one. Maybe we go kill Centipede here. Falchion Longsword. Longsword has like really good sweeping attacks too on its second on its second attack. And the first and second attacks come out like fairly quickly. So you can chop someone to pieces with Longsword. Hmm. 
Mm. Oh, I'm still thinking back to that fighter fight. I can't use sprint until he uses sprint. That's all I have to do differently there, and I don't take those two hits. I think there's an angry, angry goblin. This is gonna take forever with this fear, isn't it? I don't have combo attack or anything on. I literally have no damage. Thank you, mummy. Hit him again. Spear counters longsword pretty well. Yeah, spear versus longsword is a fun fight. Um, you both feel like you're like risking it. You know what I mean? Like you're taking a risk. 60% PDR, man. He was, I don't know if he was really that worried about me. He was just getting annoyed. Why am I trying to block him? Best me weapon right now is loot. <laughs> the loot. I'm really tempted to like do another, like start another character up if they make the leveling a little quicker. Um, I would not mind getting like crossbow master or spear proficiency from I don't know, from uh, ranger. It wouldn't be bad. I just I just don't want to play another class when I have two already grinded up there. You know. He had a lot of throwing axes on that last guy. Bastard. Jesus. Probably take Hellstrand first, but... Wow, what junk. I'm getting Spear Proficiency for my Barb. Ugh, oh, disgusting. Achilles Strike Spear. You people. That's... Are you kidding me? Whenever I scratch my face. You ever mess around with Pavise type build? Not really, no. I feel like Pavise is just always like big time meme. What I'm doing is kind of like meme -y, I guess. Um, I do think Breakthrough could be really strong. Maybe not on Spear. I've just kind of been enjoying Spear for a little while. I'm just hopeful, I guess, Spear. Like, my, my actual, like, thing I'm really hoping for. Is that the general trainer guy has like a couple perks that I really want, and then that would spice it up for me a lot. Like, oh damn! Like, what if he has like, what if he has something that would make Spear Fighter just incredible, right? I'm hoping for that. Cody Fizzle, thank you for that follow. Run into any Demon Form Warlock tonight? No, I haven't. Um, on the test server, I did a lot though. Um, I did a lot. I should put these lifefoots on. Alright. Yeah, loot this guy. Um, okay, we have some movement speed stuff now. We'll kill this one too. One thing I don't like, do you guys ever find spears in the dungeon? It's not a weapon I see very often. I feel like I find a lot of like barbarian weapons. How many hits does it take to destroy a planted pavise? I wonder if it depends on your weapon. Why are you fucking scaring me like that? That was terrifying. I don't know what that was. Is that a rogue? Dying three hits, and I wasn't supposed to take that hit. What was that? Where did he come from? I don't know where he is. Hiding in some corner again, waiting for his next victim. I go this way to the big room. Hmm. He's gonna hear me though. Sneaky little bugger, eh? Huh. We just got away with Sprint. Thank god I wasn't reading chat. I could run just run Falchion on Barb. Maybe they'll finally nerf it. Yeah. Oh man. I don't think you need Falchion on, like... I think Zweihander is like a, a better 
a better falchion. It has such a good reach and such crazy damage. It has one of the highest damaging weapons in the game, and like Halberd has minus 50 movement speed penalty, and a horrible, like a pretty slow and kind of dodgy swing pattern. Blinder's just like, oh, I'm just gonna cleave through this guy twice and do 90% of his HP with a decent on hit slow. Oh, also I have Achilles. <laughs> so, it's just like, so many things combo so well with Blinder, I find. Feels really tough to, to deal with. That's why people, like, a lot of people complain about the range meta. And like, well, what the fuck are you supposed to do? <laughs> like, what is a non-full PDR fighter supposed to do? You know? Against, against a Zweihander, a Falchion, like a Blow Corruption Falchion, like a Longsword, a Sprinting Fighter Slayer, like... Honestly, like, w melee weapons hurt so badly and slow you. Too. So I don't know. It's like it's also very difficult to survive a lot of those situations. So there's a reason why everyone brings range options. Rondel dagger. Well, Rondel's amazing. I know Firebox has a lot of fighter build, like fighter with um like dual dagger. I think like maybe short sword Rondel or buck. Maybe he does buckler Rondel because it has like the highest DPS and he just builds a crazy amount of dexterity. Very silly, but I think it's effective for him. We keep this for our green lobbies, right? Maybe it sells. As soon as I shoot this crossbow, I'm gonna get pushed by a rogue. That's my way out. I'm just a little scared. He could lurk around there. Falchion has more reach than Zwyander. I think it's like be about the same, wouldn't it? I think what's surprising about the Falchion is, it gets to its, like... It gets to that point of maximum reach very quickly. Here we go, longsword. That's not good. This is not good. This little bastard's behind me. How'd that not hit, by the way? Here comes throwing knife. Yep. Oh, I'm dead. Shit. Hmm. Please block him. No, jump! Ooh, please! Oh, thank god. I gotta get out of here, though. I got, got stuck on him. I tried to crouch jump. This isn't good. No health trying to do it. I th I'm dead. Oh, it was going so well till I backed into a goblin. I was really enjoying that. Fuck. No, I don't want to see that. God damn it. Um, Falchion feels too slow. The second swing feels slow. The first swing comes out, like, the hitbox starts really early, I think. That was so winnable, too. Just fucking it up. Started so well, but we're running all this second wind fighter nonsense. It's the thing to do. Um, we have to overcome it. I do think I switched to, um, I do get rid of this, though. Makes my life a lot easier with what I'm doing. I basically play Ranger. I have to. There's too many times where I'm just like sitting there thinking, why am I using crossbow? Ah, shit. Get rid of this. I need to switch it up. We need to soften them up more before the spear hit to the face. I also hate how this, like the spear hitbox lingers. So if you go for a headshot against, um, what am I looking for here? Did I not get a... I thought I could get a recurve. Do I need... Do I not have Woodsman where it needs to be? Oh. That's probably why, right? I haven't explored the Howling Crypts. Alright. Looks like we gotta pay a bunch of money for one. Shit. Look at that. 14 gold. Craziness. 
And then we do gotta change our perks around. It's gonna suck not having uh, adrenaline spikes. So we're gonna take... We haven't really been running any gear, so maybe... Defense Mastery isn't really doing much for us at this level anyway. Alright. I find it happens a lot when I'm fighting a longsword. I'll, um... I'll hit them, like, in the head area. And they'll hold their parry long enough that it kind of catches my... They'll, it catches my, like, hitbox on the spear when it's coming back through. Oh, I need to have the perk first and it shows it. You're probably right. This is gonna help me a lot. I believe it. We're just gonna multi-class into Ranger, get Spear Proficiency, um, Crossbow Mastery, and then run a Plate Ranger. <laughs> With, um, Sprint. I'm totally taking Adrenaline Spike plus Berserker on my barb. Really? Yeah, I suppose when you're low HP and then you're like, what is it, 10 or 15% action speed? And like 20-some physical power bonus at that point? Horseman's Axe is dirty? Horseman's Axe used to be like the strongest weapon in the game. I, like, one of the strongest barbarian weapons for sure. I think you have, okay, what's Falchion, Super High DPS, Rondel Dagger, yeah. Else I miss. Not much. We're failing tonight with our spear gameplay. I'm getting into, like, some really fun fights, which is nice. The night before was, like, we fought a lot of rangers, which, uh... A lot of rangers and slayer fighters, which is tough, but... Tonight, like, feels like I'm getting into good moments, just not capitalizing. I gotta do more aim training before my, um, stream. I did- I did do some aim training today, though, but it was... It was in the woods, not... In-game. This is the one. This little bastard here is what killed me. I should have cleared the whole room out before fighting. And then I was at like one hit range. One throwing axe range. Which kind of sucks. Hmm. Nine gold. Thank you. Okay, we'll clear the room. Which gives us some um, better chance. Love Horseman's Axe now. It's dog water. 30 movement speed penalty. Yeah, lower damage than Emory Sword. There's no reason to use Club would be better than, um... Bro doing aim training when your drunk neighbor got shot? Yeah. My drunk neighbor didn't get shot. He was doing the shooting. He was doing the shooting and the driving. All the things. And my wife was just trying to enjoy a peaceful walk. So... A little bit crazy. <laughs> you know? A little bit fucked up. Oh, I have this on. This is a nice helmet. Yeah, so... I just hear. Oh. Make it. Shit. Now he knows. Get a mob. Is it this? Where is he? He is right there. Once again, I pull mobs, eh? I oh, shouldn't pull this whole room, but it looks like I'm going to. Are you fucking kidding me? You know how weak that's gonna make me now? Just die! we can kill with spear, but, um, that's about it so far. <laughs> Naked rogues. And we have a chance. Um, nice. It's not completely naked. We need to heal big time, and then we're gonna loot this and find a purple spear, I know it. Comes a throwing axe. Oh fuck, that was my chance. I missed it. Come on. I need the headshot. No. 
I missed, like, when I jumped into him, he also jumped into me, so my spear thrust went right by him. I just needed the headshot and he was dead. Fuck. I think if I'm full HP there, we win. I think we survived that last hit. And we win. Breakthroughs... Breakthrough, like... It's, it was so weird because I almost had so much speed it like threw me off. Like we were just like, oh, we got hit with a throwing axe, but we were just fucking flew at him. And even he was surprised. So he flew at me thinking I was going to be slow. And then we both kind of like, I, we both kind of just went like, whoop, and then back. It was, it was weird. I expected him to back off, but once he hit the throwing axe, he's like, oh, he's going to be slow. I'm just going to stab him. Um, I didn't, I didn't actually need to go after him. I could have just like stayed in my position and then he would have walked into my spear. He's a fast little bastard though. Um, damn, that was close, dude. Gray Spear strikes again. Also, maybe I do get the recurve bow. Now, because weapon mastery? Yes. Nice. Kill the rogue. And then we don't kill the bard, which we should have. Maybe Soapy's right. Right here is the best. I thought right there, though, we had him, like... I'm hurt. Just fucking... Almost going too quickly once I press sprint and break through. Alright. Go again. Probably will be better, except they nerf that too. Yeah. Do you think they're gonna nerf uh, Zweihander? Like, what do you what do you, weapon do you guys think's next on like the chopping block? Like it needs it needs to be a little more difficult to wield. The like Chris Dagger? The Chris Dagger Peter Shield is a or Chris Dagger or Crystal Ball is an insane combination. In Warlock. Falchion, yeah. The crazy thing was Falchion was really good, and then Falchion got, um, well, buffed with Sword Mastery on everything that Fighter does. Like, Arming Sword is just so obsolete, damage-wise. Spear, also, like, I have no, I have no damage. Like, my damage is, like, my Spear is doing as much as, like, a, a blue or maybe a purple Arming Sword, right? Swinging at half the speed and having a sour spot that's like a mile long. So, it's kind of tough. The rapier got inside my sour spot a few times and then... I always find myself... Like... It's such a hard thing because you want to push in to like get that headshot. And really force them to panic. But if you overstep, like if you go ahead like a couple paces too far. And they move towards you. It just ruins everything you're trying to accomplish. It really does. Spear of Sour Spot's so bad, yeah, our Shrug. Nice to see you, by the way. How are the trio lobbies at the top? I hear they're pretty full, and um, everyone's having a good time. I was watching some of you guys, like some of, I think Repose and you, and Promo were, you guys were against Apollo, I think? I had an Apollo lobby, and it was just really shit because uh, there's a stream sniper, like, shit and call outs to the other team. Uh, I arrived late to the to the fiasco, but felt kind of bad. Dog shit. Okay. Yeah. That was my fear. It's raise impact resistance on the spear block, so you can block a falchion hit. You can actually punish. Yeah, spear has like the really terrible. Um, like you can't you can't ever like counteract somebody, counterattack somebody. Even with all like the fighter perks on, I've tried it. It's still. Like, incredibly hard because it has such shit impact power. You can't punish them for a block. You just end up taking the next swing. Into the face. <laughs> such, such a weird weapon right now. Maybe some good stuff over here. IRL Spear is kind of the best weapon. Yeah. I love the fact that, like, like maybe we can make it a little better if we, if we get a kill strike or something. That'd be pretty interesting. Sprint a kill strike with a spear. I also, I wouldn't mind rolling, like, low corruption on it for my Warlock. Just, just to be, like, a little bit hilarious with it. Um, we build, like, a magic damage fighter. Just for a single blow of corruption. I don't know. I think Achilles Strike would be the best thing, but you could say that pretty much every melee weapon in the game. Like, why wouldn't you want Achilles Strike on it? Imagine sprint to kill a strike on Falchion. Exactly. Exactly, yeah. 
That's why you don't try to block the first swing and then immediately counter. You wait until they're doing the second or last swing and then you block for a head poke. Hmm. This isn't Mordhau. Honestly, my experience with Mordhau um, was watching uh, Stimpy videos about it and running in there and just doing really silly shit, like throwing spears and dumb stuff. I never really took Mordhau seriously. I had a ton of fun playing Mordhau for the, you know, short duration that I played it. But I was not going to get sweaty in Mordhau. No way. It <laughs> just did. Even chivalry, like, I've had fun with chivalry before, but never really, like, you know, got, got into it. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you guys have played a lot of those games. Maybe you have. Sprint or killy strike on any melee weapon. It's gonna be dreadful. I thought he was dead. What I mean about that is that you can block and counter, which is sad. You can't block and oh. Such a oh my god. What a find. What a find. We just can't lose it. How fast are we right now? 386 isn't bad. Wouldn't mind some different pants. You have to counter at very specific times. Yeah, I know what you mean. You don't have like really you don't have a lot of good options to counter in this game. Or block. I saw someone commenting today about like the, the blocking in in general on Reddit. Like, asking what is successful. I don't feel like I see a lot of people using shield. Especially not in solos. What is that? Why is there a potion there? I wasn't up there, was I? Okay, this is like not good. Was that me? It couldn't have been me, right? Who drops a potion there? The door is the door I think is open under there as well. Hmm. I'll be able to get over the spear without over the shield without worrying about it. We're gonna get landmine rogued with our purple spear. In this corner? Oh, this is terrifying. What are these? Maybe I'm confusing myself. Maybe I spawned here. I think so, though. I don't know. We'll drop some more for the next passerby. Hmm. The higher gear score. And you said you'd never find any. Yeah, I know. Okay, I gotta read your message. At higher gear score, spear starts to shine. You have more decks than everyone one or two taps. Yeah. You pretty much... I think you need, like... like Rangers kind of get it for free, right? I think this is the spot. They get the dexterity. Uh, but fighter has to, like, take it on gear. Get spear really moving. Because that, that little, like, one tap feels really nice. If you have dexterity. Right now I have, like, none. So it's very hard to get it working. What do I have? Chest pieces is all I have. That's why I like... Imagine something like Sword Mastery on a spear. Okay, that's not good. I gotta break through that, but I didn't want to... Didn't want to waste it yet. I knew those were coming. Do I have any... Pots? I don't. Hmm. What a dodge. He didn't really push me, so I didn't really see a point of... Hmm. Coming through here, though. a runner, man. Maybe I'll we'll have to use his Achilles. I haven't really tried break... I just hear? Breakthrough should get rid of that. 
I gotta make sure I use it at the right time. Come on. I, think I hate these little guys when they're pivoting around like that. Don't have any other bolts either. Let me run. Hmm. I should just stab the shit out of him. <laughs> it's free? Yeah. I just mean your agility. Like some you get some dexterity from uh just playing Ranger. Fighter I like Fighter's a really nice class to like build out from because they have a little bit of everything. You don't feel like you're lacking a bunch of ships. You know? I should have killed that barb when I had the chance. Where is he? Oh, there he is. What's this? He's switching weapons. Okay. Thank God for purple smear. I thought he'd be better off with the quarter staff. Maybe not. He's a brave man. Thank God for this. We, we, like, we cleansed his Achilles, but we're in such a narrow corridor, it didn't even matter. Like, gave us a bit more movement. But, like, reacting to when it hits you and trying to, like, break through it, I probably should just pop breakthrough before it happens, and I don't take the on-hit slow from from his weapon either. Right? What I haven't been able to experience tonight is running through a ranger trap, which is fun as hell. Like, intentionally stepping in a ranger trap and then just hitting breakthrough? Oh. So satisfying. That might... I don't know. I think we keep this on. I just want better pants. These pants are slowing me down. I could just switch... Uh, what's that armor rating? Yeah. I think I need this. And I think adventure tunics are worth money right now. Especially three dex ones. We'll put this on. Just for the strength. I'm probably gonna miss the dexterity, aren't I? Two percent. What's it worth? Breakthrough actually seems very good against Achilles. That's pretty much, I think, 90% of why it's uh, will ever be used. Because I think a lot of people are gonna use Achilles when they cross over. Also... I feel like, I feel like in trios sometimes you just get hammered with a bunch of movement speed slow stuff, but <laughs> if you're running breakthrough and not second wind and eating a bunch of arrows, like I don't know how, like what are you going to do? Are you going to survive any longer? Like I don't think so. You might be able to catch a team or get away from a team a little easier. Hmm. Wow. Well, yeah. Play a different class, sure. <laughs> yeah. True Rush. Rush what have you been playing? I, I, you, did you leave Ranger behind? Um, I feel like I'm playing like a shitty version of Ranger right now in Fighter. Like a weird version of Ranger. Buffball? <laughs> Soapy, like, Soapy and Ryan and I did a bit of HR. Uh, like, feels like it's been a while now. Uh, before all the gear, MMR lobbies and stuff. We were just doing like some fun stuff and messing around and we ran into we ran into repose with the triple triple warlock. Oh my god. I was playing fighter just because I hadn't played fighter in a while and I wanted to do some of the questing. Jesus. I'm the goat. Yeah. I thought Todd Father was the goat. I see that everywhere. <laughs> I thought it was him. Too bigger. We'll take that. Uh, I can't believe I just said that too, honestly. But oof, Northern <laughs> Norman. Do you think this is worth any money? I'm the toad. Okay. Pretty much the goat. What does toad stand for, though? I don't know if I need mimic teeth anymore. I haven't really checked my quests. I want to find another guy, too. 
that we have this amazing spear. I'm feeling kind of slow. There's anyone else in here? Toad of all day. Alright. My father used to call me a toad when I did stuff that was like really stupid. I don't know. You might want to think of something else. <laughs> He'd be like, you toad. But often he wasn't saying it like in a nice way. It was like a kind of a nice way of like basically saying you, you idiot. A bit more emphasis. I don't know if there's anyone left. Hmm. Cross over through here. Do we see? I'm just doing like no gear queue, and then I get gear, and I queue into gear that's really good. Um, like better than the gear that I get. So, it's interesting to see. Can we just leave so we can, um, we're in, we must have been in one of the upper lobbies because, why Toad? It's just an expression, I don't know, he just always used to say, like, call you Toad if you're doing something dumb. If you, like, made, like, a really, like, simple mistake on something, you were a Toad, you know? Just, uh, I don't know, maybe no one else has heard of that, but I get called it all the time. Almost hit me. You gonna do anything? I'll kill these guys. Please. Need the experience. It will be... I'm very curious. Like, what level I'll be after they adjust all the experience. It's exciting, but it also means people that are, like, level 70 or 80 are gonna have, like... Ooh. Those are worth money, too, since all the green lobby nonsense. Hmm. Let's go with what we have. Seems like a weird one. We get chased around by Barbarian and then saw nothing else. And then we go into, um... If we go in with some of this gear on, we're gonna fight, like, people that have, like, pretty well-crafted... Well-crafted kits. Huh. I'm 86 on Wizard. I think I'll get like 100. <laughs> oh god, that's actually crazy. I think like the highest one. Like, I don't really check. I guess I don't check their like the people's levels very often. People I'm watching. So, um, like I know Soapy's like level 90. I think you're, I think Soapy's like level 90. Some on Ranger or on um, yeah, on Ranger. So, I might need some of these bangles as well. I think, I think he's 90. I'm not sure, though. I gotta be careful with my questing. I always just turn shit in and not pay attention. I do need wolf fangs. Might have to go to, um, the old ice caves for that. I need that quest from the ice caves. I haven't done a lot of questing on this. I did a lot more questing on my warlock, and then... It's kind of getting bored of it. I know I need this skull, though, for something. Unless I've already done it. We have a bangle. Um, put that in our bangle collection. I know that's coming eventually. And then I might just take this gear in. Whatever. Maybe get a better bow. I don't know if this sells. I really doubt it does, but we'll sort through this some other day. Um, I really don't think anyone's putting on a purple vassal helm. To go into the, the top-tiered lobbies. Uh, sure. Maybe we buy a bow? Some arrows? I think recurve bows are like 60 gold. For like good ones. People who play three mans get way more XP. They need to increase XP gain for solos. Yeah, they said they're going to be reducing the mob density. And the first thing that someone said in my chat was... They're also going to... Like, it was Zeppelin, right? They're also, that also means they're going to be reducing, um... Uh, experience. For solos. So... I don't know. Maybe. Let's put some junk rings on. And... What else? I mean, I could put pants on, but I don't really care. 291 movement speed isn't bad. I don't mind that. Strength. Uh, and then a bow. We'll see if we can get in another fighter with a fighter. We just have to do better. Recurve bow with max health. Six physical power. Sure. Six max health. Excellent. I think I got arrows. I probably need some more meds, though. 
All right, let's see what we run into. Um, no real throwables, don't care. Should be good. We can probably have a dodgy pendant we can throw on as well. All attributes, is that gonna push me over the line though? Am I now into like, I die territory? This is a nice spear. It could be what uh, pushes me over. Hey, let's try that. <laughs> Let's try that. 400 gear score lobby for sure. Oh, fuck. Oh, well. My no pants? Look, oh, there's some people here. It's funny, every single one of these lobbies I get into, there's a barbarian with a lizard skin. Maybe that's a fighter. He's got a crossbow. I feel like everyone I've been in so far has had a lizard, which has surprised me. Slayer. But they've always been built like this. Lightfoot boots, loose trousers, uh, lizards. Like, I see so many of these now. So, so many. I wonder what I'm hitting with my, my blue. Wizards pay to win. That's not a lot. <laughs> anyway. I pity this guy. He might have a rough go. Yeah. Jesus. Spear proficiency is not even using spear. Oh, no. Oh, no. I run barb like that too, but with dex gear. I feel like, yeah, here we go. Yep. This is it. What's he moving at? 302? Moving like, oh, I haven't moved speed faster than me with fist out. <clears throat> it's four additional damage. Oh, God. You brought him a spear? Maybe. Fuck. There's always, like, there's always two or three lizards now without, with like loose trousers, white foot boots, and gloves. That's literally all you need. Want a move? You give him the spear? Yeah, friendly guy over here. Just donating gear. That's pretty much what I've been doing. I've been looting up gear in like the ungeared lobbies and then just like throwing it into the abyss in the geared lobbies. I've just been like using up junk gear and throwing shit in there. Hard to handle this thing. Where am I? It's a big jug of water. It's a wrestling match. Let's try to get it in my mouth. We got a pissed abyss. I'm excited for the new map. I know when we were on the podcast, Jay was kind of saying like a new map doesn't feel like um, a whole lot of content. But if they make it so solo players can play every map, I mean, I'd be down for that. I love ice map, and I don't really want to like one v two all the time. So, are they gonna come try to fuck with me? Just... Gotta be careful. The amount of times I've been st stuck on. Of course, he pushes in at that moment. Did he die? Um, these little things on the ground are very awkward to step over. I think Iron Maze intentionally puts them in places just to, like, make it so you fight awkwardly. Be anyone around? Please, I need good stuff. Okay, it's not bad. Mm. Okay, barbarian man. Oh my! Come with me next. Should have done that so early. We gotta kill this man, don't we? This guy have. Keep him in this fight. Please get off me. Here, I hear him really close to me, which is kind of terrifying. Fuck it, I don't care. Where is he? Go this way? I'm always the aggressor, which isn't a good thing. He has to be hurting, though. Fuck, I thought I heard him. Jesus. I thought I heard him on this side, but maybe not. 
We got the guy's cape. That's uh, gonna do a lot for me. It's knowledge. Oh, there he is. I need to hit these shots. Hmm. Good old fucking Zweihander and naked barbarians. So difficult to deal with. I have to pelt him with a couple arrows before we get into this. I think it's like the only way I win. Fuck. We're also in a room that's very crowded usually. I could go, like, is there any reason to go down and check? I'll leave one of these down because I might need to run from this guy. Um. Miss you, Vaxity. Things are good, man. We're just hanging out with Spear. I know once I start killing this. Yep. I fucking knew it. I should have known. Please switch to him. I knew that too. I should have break through there. Yes. Thank you, breakthrough. Thank you. I thought he was getting away. Oh, thank God. And who else is going to fight? Oh, so much work. Honestly, <laughs> it's just so much work. We just got away from his killies, and yeah. Breakthrough base. I should have used breakthrough on the first one. We would have killed him a little faster, but. Throwing axe. So many people, like, expect to have more space because they've hit you with something, right? Um, with the throwing axe. It just makes sense. Like, no one's really running breakthrough, so. No one's expecting, uh, expecting to, like, not have the room anymore. Gotta go through some of this shit, too. We need, like, a quiet spot somewhere. Gear spear? Better with gear? Yeah. It's just, I think I need more action speed if I'm actually gonna build it out. Two additional physical, I'll probably take all attributes. Um, true physical, all that. Didn't have very good rings, did he? I just keep the ones I have on. Physical healing. Two additional physical gloves. Probably put those on. Three strength, more buff duration boots. I think I need the movement speed though. Especially if we're running spear. A nicer helmet would be good. Blyhander's worth like, what, 90 gold? What do you guys think? A necklace of peace? I think we do the strength and two Agi, or two true, for the bow. You find spear ranger, you'll, um, when you give him your spear, you can try that as well. I ain't giving him shit. It's a cutthroat place. The goblin caves. Oh yeah, I can go back and loot the warlock too. Yeah, yeah. Good call. Did I take that? He just had a few meds on him, right? Yeah. We'll go loot the warlock. If I stay here long enough, someone else will show up. Thoughts? Yeah. I ain't sharing. This seemed like a pretty decent, like... like this, this lobby didn't seem crazy, though, right? This wouldn't be the high tier lobby. This would be the mid tier, wouldn't it? I'd probably save myself switching to that blue spear. <clears throat> oh, yeah. This guy didn't have much. He was running from that barbarian. Spellbook might... Spellbook's still worth... on. They were worth, like, 150 gold. Something tells me that's not the case anymore. 
Are you enjoying HR more than normals? Honestly, I'm kind of just treating it like normals. Uh, I run in with Squire build. I don't run into players that are like incredibly geared. And then, <laughs> is that loot worth money? Good question. Um, nice see you, Logics. Have a good lunch, man. Do we take the flute? Sure. This flute? Yeah. Maybe I'll, um... I just heard someone. This is a scary room. When Creep, when Creep was first, um, like, added to the game, this room was terrifying to me. Action speed and max health. It's gonna slow me down a lot, though. Not too, too bad. I definitely need the movement speed against that stupid uh, barbarian. He was just, just out of reach of our spear. Or we were just out of reach of his Zweihander, basically. I mean, it's purple. Yeah, it's still Vendrit. I think I need this for quest. Three strength boots. Uh, why do I feel like that's a mistake? Spellbook's probably worth more than the boots, honestly. Dexterity boots are one of the most expensive. With three strength, I'm taking them. Fuck the spell book. We'll clear, they're static, maybe we'll get lucky. Wanted to fight a warlock in here. A few games ago. There's just five minutes of fighting a warlock around these traps. 100 gear or less. I feel like these boots are worth at least 100 with three strength. We don't know. It's not, I mean, at the end of the day, it's 100 gold. It's literally one lobby worth of collectibles. A lot of this gear I'm trying to take for stuff that like I either need for questing or I'm just gonna use on my shitty builds. Alright. We got a full inventory, I might just go. We killed the barbarian, so it counts. Future magical damage. Our crystal sword fighter could use that someday. What kind of nonsense we got going on here? I see Augie. We're doing spear. We're playing Ranger. Okay, we've adapted. We adapted our fighter into a ranger. We were using crossbow. And then we realized just how many situations we needed a recurve bow for. <laughs> so. We're basically just running like squire builds into like HR, like the new geared MMR. And then whatever we find, we just keep rolling it into new lobbies. And eventually you get into some crazy geared lobbies. They're not crazy geared, but like. People with much better stuff than what I'm wearing. Oh. Yeah. Bastard. That hurts. I'm kind of scared. Half my HP. He just did that so fast, too. Just like the... He's like... The Wild West. Two green hand crossbows. Damn. Poison weapon and... Corruption, right? That's okay, I'm a barbarian hybrid now as well. Can't wait for multi and hit live. I think it's the most fun I've had in a while. Interesting. That's that's good to hear, man. Because um I see a lot of people, like I don't know if you looked on the Reddit. Dangerous place to go sometimes. But there was a QA and it was like not a QA, and it was like a a post about like if you're excited for multi-classing or not. And it's like, there's two options if you played it. Yes or no, basically. If you didn't play it, yes or no. There's like 30 votes saying, yes, I played multi-classing, I tested it, I'm excited for it. And then like 25 votes where I'm not excited for it, and yes, I tried it. And then there was like 100 votes, and it was like, I tried it, and I think it's bad. Or, I tried it, and I'm excited for it. 100 votes were... I tried it, or no, I never tried it, and I don't think it's going to be good. Sorry, I got that really confusing. 100 votes, the most voted for by like triple the amount, were people that had never tried multiclassing, but were saying they don't like it, essentially. That just blew my mind. <clears throat> Todd just sold a Biss Necklace of Peace for three full chests to a Chinese barbarian player. Okay. How did they know he was Chinese? Did they like communicate with him? Did they get him into a voice call? Or are we just assuming based on his name? In-game name. 
Um, so how do you know? He could be like, he could be an NA East player. You don't know. People who haven't tried it multicasting shouldn't have an opinion about it. I just find it funny that so many people are like, a lot of, not really funny. It's, it's a bit concerning. Like that many people, like the votes were skewed that badly. People that hadn't even tried it yet. And we're already saying like, they're not excited for it. Or like, don't think it's good in a way. I think that's craziness. Um, plus five max health. I guess we... This is probably one we sell. I don't think we've... It's just a complete waste on me right now. Um, we did find some good boots. Look what we looted. <clears throat> one of our last... Like, we were just, like, debating whether we should leave or not a few games ago. Um, and we decided to loot one more chest, and this is what we find. Plus move speed bonus and plus five additional move speed. <laughs> it's just the silliest rolls. Um... Definitely one of the best pair of boots in the game. People are goofy man, I died to a sprint smite, smite stiletto rogue tonight. And even that couldn't put a damper on how I feel about it. Yeah. Are you, like, what are you multiclassing into? You were doing, like, you were gonna do Paladin, right? Originally? So, is Paladin still, like, on your, on your list? Or have you changed? Because I've, like, I've flopped back and forth so many times, it's crazy. I really don't know what I want to do. The more I play Spear, the more I want Achilles Strike, but I really also like Fighter with um, the Warlock perks, like Anti-Magic and all that stuff, so I don't know what to do. Obviously, I'm going to roll into Warlock because it's what I have leveled up, but leveling a Barbarian is like, do I do that? Just for, just for curiosity's sake, let's see what a Purple Flute is worth. I have no fucking clue. Do, like, do people... What would be the point? Like, would this be... You'd be, like, griefing yourself to take this in, wouldn't you? It'd be, like, a debuff. Because it would actually put you in the... In the higher lobbies for, like, no real reason. <laughs> I never really thought about that. All of Bard's utility items would just be screwing them. Um, interesting. Interesting, indeed. Uh, we want a couple of these. And probably don't need two campfires, but I don't really care to find a place for this one. Uh, let's do this. Take two of these back in. Maybe take protection pots. Anytime I take protection pots, I feel like I I lose. Not necessarily just like lose the fight, but it's just like a, a jinx I put upon myself. Whenever I bring them, I um, end up not winning or surviving. They're supposed to have the opposite effect, but... Bad luck for me. Alright, this isn't bad. This is kind of our, like, shit stuff we've thrown together over the last couple games. We bought a bow. We bought a spear. Um, it's nice to see there's actually a spear available through the vendor. Doesn't always happen. I gave up on Paladin immediately. Oh, damn. Needing Weapon Mastery to use the spell book. Yeah. I heard about that nonsense. And then only getting a single spell per token was a hard no for me. Honestly, exactly why I'm like, I'm just going to take perks off of, um, suede hat? No. Oh, it might be suede. I think it's actually a Lululemon hat, if you can believe it. I'm out here in the woods wearing a Lululemon hat. Usually I wear, like, my still, like, chainsaw hat. <clears throat> What's your AR looking like? Uh, I don't know, actually. I haven't really been paying attention. 7,000? Um, Yeah. Longsword such crossbow. Okay, let's see here. I didn't finish all these messages. Fighter base, rolling barb for robust iron will and Achilles. Oof. Yeah, I saw a guy with longsword and he had barbarian, like two-handed specialization. The fighter perks for longsword and then he had Achilles strike and he just... Uh, I didn't know what to do against him. I didn't want to swing into the parry and then he caught me with the sprint. Uh, and he could even get rage out of that combination too. Like sprint rage into an Achilles... Uh, sprint Achilles strike, rage Achilles strike. Terrifying. Terrifying. Longsword, like, the ability to lock someone down with a longsword? Nuts. That's what I keep thinking about with Spear, and then my chat's like, imagine that with Falchion, and I'm like, oh fuck. You're also right. Imagine Achilles Strike with any weapon in the game. <laughs> you know? Imagine it on a, on a recurve bow with quick shot. You know? You hit the first one, then you just quick shot the shit out of them. I don't know. Seems crazy. 300 movement speed with weapon out, 340, oh, that's gross. Gross. It's funny because, like, 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 you're, 
it's just intriguing to me because like before like you're like obviously the game wasn't really in a stage you were like, super happy with um and then it's like you know what let's just fucking break the game even more and do the most crazy dog shit melee builds we can do and just like roll with it and have fun so it is kind of interesting to hear that you're excited for it i'm glad um we'll just go with this i might as well put these pants on because the other ones weren't doing jack for me See if we can kill another barbarian. Hmm. Don't rage was pretty funny. Yeah, Achilles is the only real chase down mechanic we got. So nice to have actually clothes and killing kind of people. I want it for spear. I just I have a level 36 warlock, or 33 warlock, and a level 39 fighter. I have nothing else leveled. Let's see, we're gonna get the naked um Yep. Oh, what is this him? No. There's always a lizard man. Every game there seems to be a lizard man with agility, pants, and Whitefoot boots on. Running his Y-hander. Skinny build. I think I saw Jay playing some Ranger with high double jump. It was nuts. He was also doing uh, double jump into back step. So he'd back step, like jump, back step, and then double jump again. That was wild how much ground he could cover. With a windlass. Mm-hmm. That's worth two or three K. I think you were talking about the uh, boots, yeah. I have a fighter at 41, 20, and then a level 8 wizard. Need to put in a substantial um, XP grind effort over the next few days. I'll be multiclassing into nothing. Okay, the crazy thing is... Like, who is going to gamble on the, the general multiclassing guy? Like, imagine they don't... Like, they don't release what... What you can get. You know? Um, so it's gonna take, like, a little while for people to figure out all the options. Because, do you think they'll be, like, the Grandmaster will have skills that are not on a class, but, like, their own skills that you could roll on any class? Because that has me very intrigued. Because maybe on Fighter, because, like, if I roll Warlock into Fighter, I kind of get, unless I get Sprint, I'm just getting shafted by, like, you were on stream when I was talking about this, but, like, shafted by... Defensive perks or blocking perks or like sword stuff that I'm maybe maybe I'll use sword master or I could use slayer with my demon lock uh, like demon fo uh, demon armor and warlock but really I probably I probably ran like run grandmaster just to see what I get on warlock the general guy yeah. could be intriguing here got fighting over here I need to find a way out I don't want to get backed into all these mobs Clear a little space. There's a bola in here, yeah. Terrifying bola. We'll go kill the bola. This could end all my progress. We're gonna get stabbed in the back and watch. That should give me a bit of room. Do some stuff. We'll open this door as well. Um, that's true. I feel like you would be individual roles that aren't class specific as well. At least that's my hope. It would be cool to see new stuff that like dropped in now. Like, they, they mentioned like they may not have been official, but I remember they mentioned like longbow mastery and stuff. Uh, which is, which had me kind of curious. They also, what was the other one they mentioned? It was something to do with like agility. But I don't know what they meant by that. So, I'm really, really curious, because Warlock right now has so many good perks and skills. We, I mean, there's not too much I really want to mess with there. Especially if I'm doing demon, like, demon armor Warlock. I often feel like I'm losing something really good, even with the perks that are there. <clears throat> so, the only thing I could maybe drop would be, like, Blow Corruption. And then it's like, why would I do that? The only reason why I'd consider dropping blow corruption because the second people hear it now, they just disappear from your the movement speed so crazy. And I'm, if I'm playing demon armor, um, it's really hard to bait them into that, into wanting to actually fight me. Once they hear blow corruption, it's just like, oh fuck, they're just gonna leave me alone for a bit. I see. I have noticed though. There's a lot of um. The last couple nights, I've run into like three or four warlocks just doing. Uh, Phantomize blow corruption again. 
like just like early geared like white gear or green green geared low corruption um yeah i whiffed i think he thought i just pushed him there's an achilles strike right there you know that did literally zero damage there we go. We hit his other Achilles. He's getting fucked. <laughs> this is an interesting fight, though, because I can kind of play in close against him. I should be faster than him. I should be able to punish him with my bow, but I can't let him smite me. If he has holy protection, I always get them mixed up. I hear the audio cue, and then I mix it up. I'm like, oh, he did smite. I can stab him to hell. No. He did the other one. Oh, I'm dead. Such an awkward spot, though. He knows not to come out. You can't go to the left here, can you? Isn't that like a blocked off wall yet? He has to come out eventually. Hmm. Right? Oh, yeah. I see him now. He just punched the wall. <laughs> he, can't, he can't see anything. He just punched the wall. Fuck, he's kind of scared. Oh, no. He's making it so dark. Too bad he's got that shit underneath him. Look at that. I... I'm so bad with his bow. When he twisted, he went right through his arm. Now he's up there. Is he running? He is scared out. Huh? Like I'm posing that big of a threat. Maybe. Hmm. This must be how skinny Pete feels. Everyone runs from that man. I suck with this fucking bow. It's been like a week since I've used the recurve bow. It's obvious. It's just running. I can't. Fucking Jesus, I can't hit a single shot with this thing. Oh man, this guy's not having a good time. Look how many mobs are on him. That was one of the quickest bolas I've ever experienced. Hit the mob. We hit him in the arm. Good. We did something. So far, we've hit him in the toes twice. Oh, fuck. What was mess he's left me. Okay. That bola, like, instantly threw it. back in right now. This is such a strange fight. I wouldn't even call this a fight. Go this way? Oh, I just threw out something. Hmm. Oh. Okay, he must be around this corner. All right? Gotta be. How many mobs still hanging around? Okay, I can't hit him apparently. I don't know if that's holy protection or not. I think it is. It's not smite, is it? We can still fuck him up though. Yeah. That was definitely was that holy protection, whatever it's called. I do love fighting clerics when I have a spear. It's kind of fun for me. I do like that. Crossbow might be worth something. Crossbow might be worth something. That's a nice crossbow. All attribute. All attribute. 
notebook. Uh, Alright, and we have a way out of here, don't we? I wonder if it's worth just waiting for um, this thing Rajinger here. Probably. I'll just take this crossbow. Crossbows are worth some decent money. I don't know, like, this guy, he probably didn't have holy lights. It was, yeah. That's 50% PDR sound. Yeah. I don't think I need these. I'll probably drop those and grab something else. Alright. Oh, yeah, I got his cape. Good. Might, the, might have picked up a juice and he's running. I think this has got to be worth like three or four hundred now. The sad part for him is like there's nothing he can really do when I have a spear. If I don't get too close. Basically. And like he's running like movement speed cleric. Kind of. You know. Like he's got movement speed stuff on. I have to do some, I'm not, I'm do some looting here. Check them over one more time, grab these chests, and then we're out of here. Five hundred G easy for that purple crossbow. Good to know. He also stepped on the trap, and I, is trap true damage? I think something tells me it is. Spellcasting speed, max health, heavy gauntlets. I do like. I think we go strength agi though on spear. Stop using the heavy gauntlets. Nothing else I really need. Lockpicks, I guess. I mean, um, there's nothing else really at all. Yeah, oh wait, we could do this. Fuck these. Take the protection potions. Just hoover up everything. I'm good with that. A bow will be a throwable we can use in the future. That's a crazy idea. What do you think? They should give it to Barbarian? Does Barbarian need a throwable? Like a bola? Like a sling? Oh, this guy. He must have a static too, yeah. <laughs> there it is. Oh, he's got some additional physical damage rings. He bought some green rings. Probably found those gloves. What else we got in here? Oh, here we go. Chris Dagger. Oh no. He's a Valorant player. Fighter, longbow, and I guess he's fighting a rogue, so he took everything off. I think he might want to keep that on. If he takes the if he takes a rupture right now, he's fucked. Because of projectiles. Oh. That's gonna hurt. Oh, that's gonna hurt too. Oh no. Oh, I think he's dead. They all, they all, I think they talked about giving sling to a barb and cleric. Uh, sure, I guess. Um, why not? What is this thing worth? It's a nice bow. Max health, physical damage. Do you think he was just trying to escape with that? I don't know if I would. Maybe, I guess. Let's see. We didn't make much money. We didn't make like, any AP at all. It's really weird, like, the AP system right now, because it doesn't mean anything, it doesn't have anything to do with your lobbies, right? It's, it's a strange feeling, like, get, like, level, like, ranking up towards Demigod, but it really not determining anything you're doing in the game. It's just, like, a nice little colorful thing to add to your profile. Interesting. Uh, Buckler, those have come down in price, I think. We actually need to sell some stuff. Like, at least put some stuff on the market. Because my inventory is getting full. I got any new weapons... I get excited by any new weapons that made into the game. I want... Oh, man. So do I. One thing I, I always, like, find that I'm, like, always frustrated about... If I'm ever frustrated about, like, the content drops, like... I'm not too worried about, um... Like, the lack of content and some of the things they're working on that they've, like, promised us and stuff. And like, look, we're, we're delayed on this. What always frustrates me is, like, I just want to throw a weapon in there every once in a while. I would love to have a new weapon. I don't know, like, how difficult it is. 
Like, maybe I underestimate how difficult it is to add a weapon like that into the game. I think we just sell these. Let's see what agility... Let's see what green loose trousers are worth. They are now amazing. 70 gold for green loose trousers. It's kind of funny. Alright. These aren't worth much. Buckler was the last one I gotta check. And we'll check crossbow just so I know. Um, do any of you guys, like, sit in the marketplace and just refresh looking for, um, like, really, like, uh, do you have, like, items that you know are valuable, and you sit and you just refresh the marketplace and say, these went way down. It used to be worth something. Uh, I mean, I could just, should just really vendor it, but. Because I never realized, but maybe that's a way people are making, like, money, too. I never thought about that. Jolly, we got some dexterity pants. We got a decent chat. Well, honestly, this isn't a bad setup. 290 move speed. Our HP is a little low. We have some decent strength. Our PDR is like, you know, it is what it is, but we're moving fast. 10% physical power bonus. Not terrible, considering we're running like very, very average stuff. Front page is front? Really? You guys do that stuff, huh? I just started noticing that yesterday. I'm like, what can I find here? It's like, oh. You go through it all. A lantern. Uh, 10 gold for this divine short sword. It seems like a steal, but I'm pretty sure they're only worth like 40. Um, crossbow check? Okay, yeah, you don't want to turn the game on. <laughs> check yourself. I will check. I'm pretty sure um, they're pretty expensive. I remember blue crossbows being decently expensive, yeah. 250, they've probably come down a bit. I feel like all purple gear has dropped a bit since... Um, where did I put that? Since the changes. Max health and physical damage bonus. I don't think it's going to be that much. Like, that expensive. But Yeah. 250, 300 gold. 300 gold for max health and physical damage bonus right there. Yeah. I feel like three or four days ago, it would be... Um, would have been like 400 or 500. Yeah. I feel like you're right. But now... No, I don't know if you're... I don't think you're an idiot, though. And I think purple gear and gear in general has dropped... I think more people are playing with, like, greens and blues and just, uh, marketing, like, vendoring or marketing all their purples. Like I said, I was watching Repose, and they are like, why do we even take them purples in? Like, just, we should just sell all our purple gear. I think I just quick sell this one, too. <laughs> Let's just check the Vassal Helm. I never see this thing in the game. If I see a Barbarian, they never have a helmet on. Yeah, 30 gold. What does it have on it? Strength and Vigor. It seems so weird to me. Why do they hate it? They don't need strength, I guess. And they can get vigor somewhere else for cheaper, or for like... I don't know, maybe more... It's very cheap. I do not see it very often, though. Uh, what's the money I have on it? Physical power, max health bonus? So maybe or something. Huh. 100 gold? Okay. What was it for 100? It's worth something, I guess. It's worth something. Lockpicks, we have meds, we need more bandages. Alright. A poor cleric. A poor cleric. Once he pulled all those mobs, he was really panicking. Need arrows as well. Um, alright. That should be good. Enough meds, I hope. <laughs> I hope it's enough meds. Jesus. I feel like it's super overkill. All these stupid little single single ones out of here. Um, there we go. Okay. We have very mediocre stuff. This is kind of garbage. What's it doing for our magic resistance? Two magic resistance. Nice. It's because they're all ru running lizard skin? Yeah, I know. We ran into a couple of them. That one copper orange stash has been there all life aware. Which one? Um, the copper gear has, for sure. Yeah. These, I, I just mined some more tonight. Um, and I did have to buy some for the quest, because I did the Leathersmith quest. Yeah. We're not doing, like, any quests. We're literally accomplishing nothing right now. We're just, we're just going in and fighting people. Uh, like, I should really be going to, like, you know, um, Alan Crips and, like, questing and leveling and doing all that stuff. I'm just like, I don't know. <clears throat> I just want to fight with Spear for a bit before I, um, 
I just get so excited to go in and fight players and see what happens. See what I can learn. The first page one. There's not one there, I swear. You're lying. But... Oh yeah, that dexterity. 8%, like I said, if you get to 10%, things change. I have one in the exact same spot on my fighter. Must be a fighter thing, yeah. Here we go. Look. Who is it? The same barb from every game. There's like a blue one, a red one, now there's a green one. L lizard skin barbarian in every lobby. Crazy. I think there's been one lobby with that one. <clears throat> there's that def no tab one or. Thank you. Thank you for confirming Soapy's a liar. What are your thoughts on helmets with the nose guards? Love them, hate them. The Spanger helm? I think you look really dumb using them, but actually for the dexterity and agility, they're kind of nice. What's that helmet called? It's just like, um, it's like a metal bucket. And you put it, it's like, uh, it's just like, is it the open salad? It's like a metal bucket that has no stats on it. That's got to be the most useless piece of gear in the game. It has to be. <clears throat> it has to be. Venus Helm? I don't think it's called that. I understand what you're getting at. It's like in Tarkov, didn't everyone call it? All those like shitty green helmets that? Open salad. There you go. Found it. It's pretty underwhelming for a helmet. I like the normal salad though. Hawk Helm? Hmm, turn shoe. All this stuff really. Rawhides might be. Traditional physical damage rawhides, they'd be good on a claw. I think I'm gonna go loot this room now, because I. Most exp I've said this every time I enter this room, but. Did you hear somebody? Uh, this is where I found the most extensive piece of gear. I found, like. Probably ever in Dark and Darker. Plus two all padded leggings with like 3% action speed and like 6 max health. Damn, they were nice. I sold them for 6k and I think they would have gone up to like 10k if I had waited longer. Weird these are not locked. Kind of throwing me off. I prefer the Chef Salads and the Caesar Salads. Ooh. Crossbow may come in useful if I... Additional magic damage, action speed. No one uses that, right? They all, most players use the. Don't they have a strength hood? Maybe they use that with strength rolled on it. I don't know. Big bolts. Was there bolts? I didn't see any. Plus two strength, the light foots. Ah. Eleven movement speed and two strength. Hmm. If you need it. Was there bolts in here? Oh, there was. Nice. Good call. I like that. We have an option now. We can run both. Which really, I think, is a good option if you're going to play, like, off. Like, weird brand shit on fighter. Like, if we run into that barbarian and have a decent opportunity to hit him with our recurve bow, it feels great. You run into, like, a... You know, something... You want a little bit of... A little bit more punch... Stopping power. Crossbow's nice. Am I hearing? I'm scaring myself here. I feel like I'm hearing stuff. Hmm. There is usually a spawn there somewhere, so maybe. I should be a guy right around this. I don't know why I opened this door. I hate that room. I really do. <clears throat> we'll go this way. See who we, who we find. See if barbarians run into anybody yet. Really fun way to play though, if you want to just like melee and just <clears throat> bear bear ramage, isn't that what um what's that crazy lunatic said? Oh, what's his name? Charles Manson? 
Wasn't that something you said? One of his famous quotes. Can't see him. Completely blind. Hmm. I guess we could go underneath now. May as well. We've already pulled the, the one guy. Why is it better beating our abyss for Barb? You only go for 100G. Yeah. Do you know what's even crazier? Why under goes for like 100G? I don't understand. Like, why is Barb here so cheap? It's like, no one play it? Uh, shit. We have too much shit in here. It's not a bad helmet. That's not a bad helmet right there. I think I like the strength, though. I don't know. I guess we keep the purple. It's just... I probably should just drop this shit. I'm taking out so much gear that I have to sell that's worth literally pennies. When I could just be taking out, like, fancy shit like this stuff. You get kind of easily if you don't want an Achilles. Yeah. I still think, like, in Goblin Caves, you have so many opportunities with Crush to force people into bad situations. I don't know, like... I feel like this ranger hood is junk. Um, there's not a lot of people running, like, ranger in goblin caves. So, you know? I often feel like they don't... That, like, whenever I played Barbarian, my biggest threat was, like, a quick shot. From a, from a good, like, longbow or something. Because you don't have a lot of projectile resistance. And if you're running, like, that speed build, you have, like, no resistances at all. But, what ends up happening is, like, you just... don't see a lot of rangers here anymore. Why can't I pick that up? Rangers are a dying race in Goblin Caves. Surely I have enough meds, right? Rogue's kite with hand crossbows? True, yeah. Hmm. Usually there's a guy close by here, I thought. I don't like when the game starts off so quiet. <laughs> What the fuck was that? I think I saved all those meds. Hmm. Gives me the impression it's like someone's sneaking around. Double K's poopy butt. What? For a ranger? Hmm. Yeah, I see. You were doing like. You were trying to do a tree. I don't know how it went. It's open. I don't know. From what I understood, there's the lobbies were kind of difficult to find that were full. So, don't tell me I pulled. Oh, fuck. So, I don't know. I definitely notice if I'm playing fighter and I have sprint, I, I don't really mind seeing a ranger every now and again, especially with breakthrough. Because it's like, oh, you're going to trap me. Really? <laughs> really? You think you're gonna trap me, do you? Oh, it's so funny. I have a clip where I just, like, I heard the trap, and I intentionally just walk into it so I can break through out of it. It's so funny. Oh. The poor man was just so shocked. Late days and Thursdays, yeah. You stream, like, for, for NA, like, you stream during pretty quiet hours, which kind of sucks. It sucks in terms of, like, the player base is quiet, but also, like, Amount of people streaming at that time is quiet. Uh, that's cheating. He was so shocked. Like, he was reloading his crossbow. I thought he had lots of time. I'm just stabbing him in the face. <clears throat> Have you tried the block perk, which increased your action speed after blocking with spear? <clears throat> the problem is, um, the problem becomes spear has, like, really, really low impact power. So, what ends up happening is. If I'm if I block a Zweihander normally, I'm staggered. So it doesn't even matter what my action speed's doing. It takes too long. Spear has like really bad recovery time on his block. I it's one of the worst. That's why I don't take any blocking perks. If I'm blocking, I'm probably dead. Only time I might consider blocking, which I wish I had tried a few nights ago against the Warlock, was like if I'm at good range and I'm trying to get rid of a blow of corruption off a warlock or something. Like, maybe I risk it. But if 
if I block and miss on a killing strike, you just die. So breakthrough gets me into trouble, but I have to be facing him, which means getting the fuck out of his next swing is almost impossible unless you're like already walking sideways, right? I was gonna try to block there and show you, but okay. Okay, stop asking questions. You're fired. Jesus. I should have that campfire right now. I should have aimed higher, I guess. It's my fault, but I love that time. Yeah, it's a good time. It's a good time for streaming. Like, even Skinny Pete's been streaming, like, like early afternoon for me. Um, and there's not many other people to watch, so he's getting, like, two or three hundred viewers. He's entertaining as hell, because he's just fighting everybody in Goblin Caves. Um... But he's, like, I remember before he was having a hard time finding, like, full lobbies. I don't know how he's doing now. Alright, I'm really scared to block this thing again, so... I'm half HP. This is why I need Shadow Touch. All the mistakes I make fighting mobs are just... I don't even know if I take that. Is it, I don't think that, is that worth? Just for the magical power? Oh, I don't need all these arrows now. I might just sit down for a sec. Like that, though. Pick a potion, sit down, relax. Not worth? Yeah. I feel like pendants are just super, super easy to find. I should have closed that door, maybe. I forgot about the lay down mechanic. Oh, fuck his own. I'm dumb. Guess we're just gonna have the bandage. We got enough heals. Surely the next guy we run into will just kill him and take all his stuff, right? There's gotta be some players around here, though. Oh, yes. Oh, look what we found. Spot now. I want to fight him, but I have this way out right behind me. I know he's coming around. Getting pushed by these assholes. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna die. Thanks. Hey, pal. One hit was like 70 of my HP. <laughs> so I was like, mm, I think I'm good. That we didn't even touch his, um, shield, basically. Yeah. If I was in a better area, I would have maybe tried to fight him more, but... I'm not in those hallways. With two mobs aggroed onto me. <clears throat> so strong. We didn't... We didn't take any slow from the... the Kelly strike, but... For this guy. Mmm, copper light. That's what he's doing. Look at this guy. He must have killed Troll or killed the guy. Killed Troll? Hmm. I should learn how to- I should do more bossing, but... I never want to boss. That's why barb helms are so cheap. Yeah. You don't really need them. <laughs> I understand what you're saying. We don't want that money right yet, either. I was really excited to fight him, and then I realized the situation I was in, I was like... I'm gonna be running from this guy forever. I think, though... Like, the gear he was wearing, I think... I really think that might have not been a horrible fight for us. If I had backed up the long hallway and not been forced up... Like, I, if I hadn't gone up, maybe? Because... He was wearing, like, he was actually wearing... Chest piece, which... Slows him down a little bit, you know? Gives me a little bit of an opportunity, maybe. I didn't see what his other perk was. Might have been running Rage, which would have been rough. Um, Warhammer? Let me guess. Very cheap. Anything purple is like 100 gold right now. 60 gold. Wow. That's crazy. Not even worth picking up. 
These gloves definitely are worth something. Rawhide gloves are always worth at least a hundred. I gotta start like actually min-maxing what I'm picking up. I feel like I just grab everything. And it's just such a waste of time doing all this. No one's really buying stuff right now. That's any has any good like this is this is two hundred. That's not bad. Oh no, that was a red. Never mind. It's actually only a hundred. Okay. Ninety nine gold. Hmm. We're not dying, but that's kinda lucky last time we didn't die, really. We got in the, the wrong situation. We did not want to be where we where we were fighting that barbarian. Blood bat? Um, he had the blood exchange? Yeah. I mean, that's why he healed so much. He hit me twice. Hit me twice and that was it. Smooth walk. Yeah, we tried. Barbs and warlocks. Oh, it's tough. Yeah. I don't know. It's crazy because if, if you build, like, if you build to counter warlocks on fighter... You're like 90% chance you're gonna lose to a barbarian. If you build like counter barbarian, you're gonna lose to a warlock or a wizard. There's no like really good middle ground. Like you might as well just play Slayer Fighter and like use range options relentlessly. And then you might you you can probably get on top of a warlock and kill him. But you're gonna get two tapped by a Zwy Hunter Barbarian. So like a lot of people are saying Slayer is like really really strong. I don't even think Slayer is like Slayer is good just because of the mobility and the range options. But in like melee combat, PDR fighter should beat it, and Barbarian I think should beat it. You see a lot of Barbarians, even like still like a a blow, blow corruption warlock with like Bloodstained Blade or any anything like that going on. It's very tough for a Slayer fighter to deal with because. Don't have a lot of HP. Or resistances, I mean. We've we've encountered one PDR fighter and we lost to him, the little bastard. And I don't know how his night's going, but probably not amazing time running into warlocks and stuff all the time. Alright, let's just go again. Well, I want to get a good fight in against somebody, but it's um tricky right now. Look at this, we got another one. Every game, loose trousers. Loose trousers. You might have had cloth pants on, but there's a Zweihander barb in every game. At least. And if it's not a Zweihander barb, it's a warlock with phantom eyes. We killed one. We killed one. Hey, Milkman, check your Discord, share content. I just made a post about what I ran into in the low gear matchmaking bracket. It's a video clip of what the rogue had on. I'll check it out. Maybe after this game. My first my first assumption is how late into the game was it? Uh like did he did he find any of this stuff in game or was it like was it pre acquired in the marketplace? I see a mystical man. Games are going good. I'm having fun. Here's a ton of fun with breakthrough. It's just, um, I do get meted sometimes and I do make mistakes, so I do die. I do not feel invincible with this by no means. If anything, I feel extremely vulnerable <laughs> playing this way. But uh, yeah, it can be fun. Thank you for those five gifted. It's huge. Thank you, man. Very, very kind, mystical man. Pretty awesome. We have actually quite a few followers tonight, so. That was a good night overall. I don't know, my... My alerts must be, um... Usually it only does it... Yeah, okay, it's gonna do an alert for everyone. Usually it only does, like, one alert for five. I don't know what changed. But thank you! We're gonna listen to it for each one of them. Good luck, have fun. Thank you. Um, I guess I go check out this room. It's not a bad room to fight in. Classic barbs, why? Yep. I still think, uh... You could take some movement speed off as well, Ander. Once they made the whole, like, um... Oh, fuck. I'm dumb. Once they made the, the swing speed, like, change... 
Uh, it was already good before that. Um, so maybe you need to, like, knock some movement speed off it. And do the little pokes. Bub. Oh, shit. How are we gonna find anyone early on in this lobby? Bring... I'm gonna bring a lot of bandages with me, either. You guys know damn well I'm gonna take some mob damage. I don't know why I have this heater shield. Something tells me heater shield's worthless as well. I'm always picking up gear that's just, like, worthless to me. Or I should just be buying it from the marketplace. I don't know why. I get so excited finding blue gear, and now it's just, like... It's very useless. Before, it was like... Your chest open. Sounds like a rogue. I heard a rapier, I think. He could be on the other side of the wall, which is... A bit terrifying, or he could be literally right here in the corner. Cause there's like a, there is a room. Ah, fuck. This could be bad. Play like Soapy. Run and jump. Run and jump. The only difference is we don't have traps. And I don't have... Quick shot. I'm gonna peek it, fuck. What am I doing, honestly? I don't think he's in that corner now. He would have lunged at me by now. So he's across the way. I can't believe I just got hit by that. Now I'm also down a couple more HP points. God damn it. I just get my HP to full and I'm like, okay, I'm looking good. I do something stupid like that. Door open. Is that a wizard? Oh, ignite wizard. Even better. I think we had him there too, I just fucked the first swing. He's coming back for me. Oh, he's in there. What are we going through? This guy's coming back for me, this stupid little mob. Um, hmm, he's gonna try to ignite. I'm surprised you tried to zap, honestly. I don't have a lot of meds. Hmm. Interesting. I see you, Chief Banana. This is an interesting fight, because the only thing that I really get breakthrough from is, like, is if he tries to slow me, and I don't even think it's probably going to slow. Maybe. Where is he? Underneath, right? What was that? That was like a warning fireball. Oh fuck, he closed the door. Not good. Oh no, that's not good. Fuck, I hit the wall. Can't believe that last hit didn't kill him either. 
spearing right through the into the wall. Oh. Damn, dude. Shit, I knew I was gonna get zapped to death if I if I stayed too long. Thought I had him. I just I, fuck. it's hard to hit that little bastard so quick. And I have to I have to engage on him, right? I can't take zaps, and once he has his um his like magic damage up, he's doing a lot in close. That was close. I just I just missed the swing. Fortunately. I don't think he's using slow at all. Good old ice shield kept him alive. Close, 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 close. If I hit a headshot, if I hit him in the body shot there instead of smashing the wall, we have success, right? I didn't really want to get into like a recurve fight, and for whatever reason, I thought um, I thought the door would be open so I could kind of kite him away, and I just made a bad bad mistake. I wanted to fight him. I didn't want to just keep doing range shit. You need to practice spacing. Yeah, trust me, spacing with spear is like the number one thing. I just wanted to kill him quickly, but yeah, I had to back up some. If you push in and they push in, and then like you're trying to keep them in like a decent spear range, like one step can like throw you off, <laughs> because if you each take one step towards each other, moving that fast, uh, his hitbox changes so quickly, especially to my side. So how are you liking the multiclassing? I like multiclassing. I think it's gonna be fun. I'm very interested to see what um, what I get. I have a warlock that's ready to go, so I'll have fighter. I'm a little bit like saddened by spell memory. Like I just think it's gonna be too difficult for me to roll spells I want. Like let's just look. The odds, the odds of um getting the spells I want are gonna be so difficult. Cause like what what would I really want on fighter class? I mean bloodstained blade, eldritch shield, maybe even spell predation. These three. <clears throat> what I'd probably get is like evil eye Life drain even hellfire like some of these I just think are dumb. I wouldn't want Hydra I might you might be able to get away with like flame walker. It could be kind of cool But you're taking then you're taking like a skill just to run flame walker Which is dumb. So you're like, okay, you want at least two spells to make it worthwhile Like what are the odds you're gonna get spell memory and then two spells you want? I would love to have Eldritch Shield and Bloodstained Blade, but very, very difficult. Maybe if I'm like really high leveled, we just we just gonna go go for it after a while. But my like, what we got the first time we rolled, we got Dark Reflection, Anti Magic, and Shadow Touch. I would love that on Fighter Class. I think it just makes everything you do better. Whether you're a Slayer Fighter, whether you're a Spear Fighter, I think it's just like very helpful. Fighter perks are kind of dog water, so. Bro, still streaming like an absolute attic. Yeah, tonight's a little shorter because, like I said, I had some like, um, I had some crazy shit happen last night, and then tonight I was just exhausted. But Sunday, I think I was like almost five hours on Sunday. I didn't even realize how long I was going for. I wanted to stream last night, but like I said, I uh, <clears throat> I had to deal with I had to deal with the cops. <clears throat> it was fun. Really made my night. Um, hmm. I want to tumble barb or spear barb. Yeah, backstep spear would be kind of cool. Imagine Achilles backstep spear. That would be kind of nice. Go ranger and roll barbarian and get Achilles strike. And just backstep. Tap them once. Hit them with Achilles strike. Tap them a couple times. Oh, they think they're getting close to you. And you backstep. Half them a couple times. Be pretty cool. What the hell did I miss? Yeah, my rowdy neighbor. He was driving around, shooting guns off, drinking. You know, being very dangerous. <clears throat> so things got a little crazy. Yep. <clears throat> I almost had to go to court today <clears throat> to make statements on stuff. Yeah. Spear Achilles is guaranteed second ink since you can't strafe it. Yep, that's why I want it. But I have for some reason I played Warlock.
I'm not too worried about it. <clears throat> Chief. It is what it is. My wife and I were talking about it last, last night. Like, do we move, like, soon? Like, what do we do? Um, I was like... <sighs> okay, maybe it was worse than what I'm letting on. Like, there was a conversation last night that was like, um, we can't live here anymore. Maybe we move everything. So I was like... I was like... Last night, late last night, I was considering, like, I might have to make a video or do a live stream where it's like... I may be gone for a while. <laughs> because... Um, yeah. Anyway. Luckily, so far, I haven't had to do that. Why did I just drop that? Right, we're gonna find another purple spear, I know it. Your neighbor is too American? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. He likes his guns and beer. Very dangerous combination, though. Especially while driving. <clears throat> oh, shit. I forgot to check um, that video, Phantom. Of the guy you found. With crazy gear. Sounds like a friendly guy, yeah. You wanna know something even crazier? Even crazier? It's my brother. <laughs> That's the crazy part. Yep. Crazy. Such such fun supporting family. Supportive. Such a supportive family, yep. <laughs> I'm not bullshit neither. Pretty wild stuff. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. It was a long day. It's gonna be a long couple of day weeks, I think. <laughs> your next door neighbor is your brother who got drunk and started shooting shits? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Kind of, but, um, yeah. He doesn't just, like, I mean, I didn't really want to go too deep into this, but... Basically, he drinks way too much all the time. Yeah. <clears throat> and, uh... He's having, like, a big feud with my parents right now. Over just, like, really stupid shit. So he's, like, trying to intimidate... Everyone... He can. By doing really dangerous shit. Go smash some beers with him? Oh, fuck no. I... I doubt I'll ever talk to him again. I hope I don't have to talk to him anymore. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Yeah. There's a reason why I keep my life secret. Let's just put it, you know, you understand now? He's not a nice individual. And just think, I have three brothers. So it gets even better. There's a, there's a farmer that always used to say that no farm's big enough for, um, for two sons. Like, my dad had four kids, four boys, so. Um, there's definitely some, like, really greedy individuals that want everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, trust me, like, if I... There may be a day, like, when I'm a full-time streamer and I'm just kicked back, relaxing, chatting with you guys. Boy. I could, um... I could share some crazy stories, um, very crazy stories about my family. Wilson family lore, yeah. <clears throat> he, tra the crazy stuff, the craziest thing was, like, he's not even, like, I mean, he's really, really, really bad, like, drinks way too much alcoholic, right? Um, but my other brother was actually worse for a time, like, way worse. So, yeah. That we dealt with, like, five years ago. So, anyway, he doesn't hasn't drank in, like, two years now. So, that's good. But now this brother needs to learn. <laughs> you know? Oh, fuck, what have I done? I didn't want to fight this dick. Don't. Asshole.
right. He's gonna come back for me. Oh, uh, they will learn as they get older. Yeah, this this guy is. Uh, yeah, he's not learning. <clears throat> I said that to you, and it's just. Where does the skeleton champion go when that happens? I was kind of confused. I was wondering if he's gonna pop back up and interrupt what I'm doing over here or what. Anyway, moving on. Camp is lost. Yeah, moving on. My family's fucked up. Um, crazy shit happens. Don't drink and drive and shoot guns off. Okay. That scares people. The youngest bro? Yes. Yeah. I am the youngest. So yeah, no, I didn't expect to really still be living like this close to everything. So, um, anyway, but I am. It is what it is. Nothing like alcohol guns to make you wish you were your only child. Yeah. I, I look, I learned a lot from my siblings. Like what not to do. I learned a lot from all their, like, really stupid, stupid decisions and mistakes. I just, like, kind of passively watched all this shit go on, and I'm like, ah. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't do that. Oh, there. That's probably not a good thing to do, if you want to, like, keep family, like, family happy. Maybe we shouldn't do those things. What are you doing? Ouch. How'd that miss? Oh, what? He's a trickster. How do you get up here? Here's somebody else. Please. I think I dodged right into that. Oh no. Am I not dead? Oh no, the trap! The, the block on that spear was crazy. Good for him. Damn it. And now I just I just didn't get far enough away. I I walked into him again, which I shouldn't do. Um I find myself doing that a lot with spear. Like you wanna get the hit in and you just you need to walk away. Like let them try to get to you. I got way too close. I could have just done a lot more range. Free headshot, yeah, I ducked into his headshot too. Really like the best thing to do is just probably play more bow. I always try to get in there and like see what I can. Oh. Always cost me. Is this the naked why Oh, sort of naked barbarian. This is, by the way, this is I'm in squire gear. Hmm. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven additional damage. Move speed bonus. This guy's running literally. Oh wait. Plus this additional damage, plus this additional weapon damage. He is running... ...fucking insane damage. <laughs> Truthfully. Uh. You're gonna love, love a bit of dodgy family history. The girl I was with on the weekend advised her uncle... ...just got charged as a pedo and half the family supported him raping his kids. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, I read a funny story yesterday about Dark and Dark, and it was like, um, Joel Cosby's had an account ever since Creep's been added. It's really weird. <clears throat> I never thought I would read such crazy stories. I don't know where it came from and who said this slanderous stuff, but. Still active, apparently. Still in the game, too. Account's still active. 
Oh, we're stacking additional damage. Oh, yeah. Um, 45% action speed slayer build by the war. All right, let's just go fight somebody. I'm tired of all this. I don't want to run into that barbarian, but my last fight. One thing I will say about spirit too, though, um, we kind of seen it there. It's real easy to block a spear. I pretty much only way I get around it is if I do the second swing around that shield. Heater shield. I remember I tried in like uh, free game lobby one time to get around a heater shield with spear. It was impossible. It felt so difficult. Uh, so he did good. Buff rogue. Maybe. I wouldn't mind if like rogue wasn't just. Uh, it wasn't just a hand crossbow or a landmine thing. I wouldn't mind Rogue having some interesting options. Peter covered so much, yeah. I'm hoping he was. I just was hoping he wasn't going to use it much. And just, uh, I, I got way too close trying to hit, land some hits. Um, once D&D goes into Steam, that full time streamer thing goes into Prospect, yeah. That's a tough one, too. Huh. Like, to even consider it sounds crazy to me. Like, I don't think I've ever anticipated having, like, even a following like I have now, so... I do need to, like... I want to make some changes to the stream to make it, like, a little better. Maybe we play more music and stuff. Um, it's wild, because, like, I always feel like... I'm streaming at, like, my... Not my peak, you know? Like, I'm streaming at the late hours after, like, a long day or whatever. So it's always funny, because, like, I feel like I could do so much more. You need more funny redeems? I probably do. As long as, like, Dime doesn't show up and ask for a VIP for 100k. You know? I need more audio stuff like that. I want to get, like, a... I want to get time, like, to actually sit down and, like, edit some of my mic audio and have, like, a mixer set up with, like, sonar. I don't know if you guys... I've heard tell of like Steel Steel Series Sono so software. I gotta get something like that going too to get like everything balanced properly. So if we do more trios and whatnot, it's really easy for me to adjust things. And crossbow is stupidly fun on rogue. Oh yeah, rupture exists. Does does poison weapon like what? It oh, fuck. I'm gonna take so much damage here. Oh thank God. Could break through. Does poison weapon work on spear? I don't think it does. It says it shouldn't. Well, I guess we go to the big room. Hell with it. LEDs, cat ears, all the streamer stuff. I got you. Yeah, thanks. Full time streamer sounds wild. I don't know. Uh, DAC Shuffle Sound. Yeah, there's a free software that like mixes everything for you and then sends it to your stream. So, I really want to try that. I heard the poison only works one handed weapons right now? Okay. Poison weapon. We're gonna run into this plus 13 additional damage barbarian. It could be. When you're a millionaire streamer, you're gonna shout. Shout me a beer. Maybe. Maybe. We'll get to the... When we get there, and ask again. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, I'm a millionaire, I suppose. I could pretty much do a whole bunch of things. I've never really considered that. Remind me again when it happens. We're a long ways, man. Tight ass, yeah. <laughs> a long ways to go. I expect to lose one order of wing stop for being an OG. What? Those are kind of nice. You guys in your damn wings, I tell you. I can't even order, like, food where I live. Like, skip the dishes and all that shit doesn't work. All these other streamers are like, oh, I need lunch. And they just, like, order coffee and stuff. That's not possible for me. 
That literally doesn't happen. Mm-hmm. I can't. What is this thing? What is that thing that Sophie's doing? Um, like when you get become basically once you become a partner streamer on Twitch, you immediately get factor meals or something. I feel like everyone has them, but I don't even know if I could get them. I bet if I put in my location, they'd be like, "Sorry, <laughs> you're gonna have to pay extra for that." I sometimes wonder, like, how much money is Amazon losing delivering stuff to, like, these rural areas? Some of them are just, like, way the fuck out there. Like, my parents' road was, like, washed out for, like, a week last week. They couldn't even get their mail. I was like, Dad, are you worried about the road? Like, you can't really get down with your vehicle that easily. He's like, I don't, I don't care. I don't go anywhere. <laughs> I was like... Fair enough. Why would you fucking care if you never go or leave the house or leave the farm? If you can get posters, you can probably get factor. Sometimes we can't. Where is this demon barbarian at anyway? I'm gonna have to hit him a hundred times to kill him. Come on. I don't know how we're gonna do it, but maybe we'll be successful here. I think like eight, eight recurve hits and then like three spears might do it. We literally cannot get hit by him. He's gonna have a horseman's axe. Just chopping us to pieces. Those aren't bad. Oh man. This is, what, seven move speed? I think I take the high move speed. What's that put us at? 297? I'm gonna need it, I think. Alright, bows. Buy boys some wings. You can outrange him. He can't smash doors either. True. Need all the doors open. We have options. Killed one Zweihander Barbarian tonight. Did kill one successfully. Just, it was Zweihander, so we got just, just out of his reach. And, uh, had breakthrough going, so we did get hit, we were fine. I can start with barbecue wings, why not barbecue drumsticks? Interesting. What's like your guys' do you guys like spicy wings? Or are you like a mild kind of guy? Or people, or folks, or women. Mild kind of ladies. I'm a big fan of like mild. Like, kind of spicy, but not not like over the top. Extra spicy stuff. Honey garlic's good. Sweet chili, okay. Those are all solid options. I like a bit of spice. Like, I put a lot of spice- I put spice in my food, but it's like... It's like sriracha sauce here and there, you know? I don't really- I don't go crazy. I don't eat, like, peppers that have some sort of crazy scale that can burn your mouth. Don't get into that shit. I don't like what happens after. <laughs> shit. I just- I just don't enjoy not being able to taste my food. You know? I don't understand how people can enjoy that. Like, I had a hot pepper with, like, a... I had hot peppers with a breakfast one. It was, like, supposed to be, like, a... You know, a bit hotter than, uh, like, maybe, let's say, ten times or five times hotter than, like, a jalapeno. And for, like, two minutes, I'm just like, why? This feels awful. My tongue is just burning. Like, I... Wasn't enough to like ruin my day, but it was enough to ruin my few minutes of my breakfast. Like, why put this with my fucking meal? <laughs> you know? I think it was IHOP actually, yeah. It was a long time ago. It works your body out? Yeah, I start them in the air fryer and finish them in the oven with sauce. I haven't found anyone in this neck of the woods, which is interesting. I feel like this is gonna be a party area over here. I'm just running around. have these things. Literally just sprinting around the dungeon, haven't heard a person. This was a full lobby. Kind of confusing. Everyone hiding from the barbarian. 
Could very well be. Like, I, I'm seeing signs, but no players. I'm picking up other players' scraps now. Here's somebody out here. Underneath. There you go. He's just waiting on static. Yeah, he's in the static, basically. The barbarian. One of them, maybe. I'll fight you. You want to fight? Let's go. Let's do this. That's sad. Oh, poor man. I think he could have had a chance there. He had a killy strike, you know? Warm all? Why not? This is a silly fighter with a, with a spear. Another one. You bring shame to res lizards? I guess not. He must have... It's weird that he's the only player I found, though. We need to find something valuable here. We have some complete junk. Not bad. That is nice to find. Excellent. We have a spear. Let's go see who else we can find. I like to email before I go to static since I can tank whatever the other player does. Yeah. I might have been like, I might have done like 30 damage to him, you know? I don't know where I hit him with my bow, but, uh... Bit oil lantern him, burn him a bit as he stepped through. Is it just special? I like more variety than that. Yeah, I like, like, there's a lot of good chilies. All these places are empty. I'm so confused. I really thought this would be busier. It's like a low gear lobby. Have lots of players in it. Everyone just takes statics? That's strange. Hmm. Interesting. I don't really know, this is odd. I've been taking all the silver I can and crafting silver weapons for the market. Seriously? there money in this? First person I've heard say that. I've been crafting and money like that. Silver coins. Look at that, half HP. Nice. This is when we'll find our hidden man. Of course. How is he not dead? Holy shit. White variety silver weapons sell well. Do I need those? I don't think I do. I really don't think I'm gonna find anybody, but maybe. Hmm. What a weird lobby. Let's check this. Really, really quiet. Maybe it's because it's getting later in the evening? I don't know. I'm just hearing my own footsteps, my own voice. That's all I'm listening to. Do. This is when we need some music on the stream, right? Elder Scrolls or something. Old school RuneScape. I have no good way to set it up right now, so I want to make some changes. I was considering buying like a better mic than the one I have. I like my microphone. I just need. I think I just need to adjust the settings on it. But the problem I'm having right now is I have one PC inside. And one PC outside, like, in the trailer. So when I'm inside, I can't do any recording, really. Because hooking and unhooking a microphone every time you want to, like, use your PC is just really annoying. And usually it fucks your, um, your settings and stuff. I found somebody.
is gonna be a tough one. It's a curse lock. Nasty individual. He was getting a little scared though. Fuck you, he says. Uh, we could probably kill these, right? Maybe? Do some more looting. Over this way. Not completely on his own. I don't know. I don't think there's anyone left now. Here's my only hope of getting a kill. Second swing, they step under it, man. It's really not worth doing. Can you hear somebody? I'd say the F word because he's a coward. Yeah. I traditional magic damage. Hmm. Yeah, it's not very common for me to yell swear at people as I go through the final portal. Hmm. But I mean I have my days. He maybe has he's having one of those days where things just aren't going his way. I was real excited to check this final bit of loot. And then I show up and just kind of ruin it for him. I guess. We're gonna find something amazing in this. I found it, it was kind of comedic. I didn't really care. I swear too much on stream. I was like, my next YouTube video is probably gonna get demonetized. I added some clips from the stream. I'm just like cursing and swearing all the time. It, it's funny because in real life, people always used to say, like, I never swear at all. Like, my professional jobs and stuff, I don't swear at all. Can't. So it's really strange that, like, I'm on here just like... Oh, fuck! As you can tell, I sometimes panic and swear. Jesus. Thank you, NASA. I saw your message, like, get out. I'm just like, oh, yeah, I got time. <laughs> sure enough, I nearly died of that shit. Okay, what, what, look at all this. Oh, guys, what has happened here? What has happened here? We haven't been winning that much, but somehow we have all this, all this random gear now. Mace, I know Rapier sells. Something tells me Mace doesn't sell. I think, I don't, I think the days of picking up loot, unless it has like all attributes or additional physical damage, is over. Yeah, 80 gold for that, like... It just doesn't seem worth it. I didn't even look what was on it. I don't care. Um, I'm wasting a lot of time in the marketplace selling stuff that I think is like somewhat valuable to somebody. I think we're at a point now where I, I really have to make it like a conscious effort while playing the game. Do not pick that up. Do not pick that up. You know, do not touch that shiny blue piece of gear that has like vigor on it because you get excited about it. It is no longer worth it. It's gonna be impossible for me to break the habit. I just love I just love finding gear Finding these shiny collectibles and selling them doesn't excite me at all finding like neat little pieces of gear that I can like maybe use or something exciting um, Especially when we're kind of just rolling our kit into like one lobby after another I'll just put this on um, Anyway Look at all this stuff we do need the money too. We're not that. We don't have that much money. That's what I tell my mom when I'm trying to get rid of stuff. She's a semi hoarder. You really need to get it. If you really need it, we can get it back. Yeah. People not buying much anymore. I guess not. I haven't really been buying much. I'm over here swearing in work meetings all the time. Yeah, I never really swear. Like I don't swear around my family much. I mean, I don't swear at all. I try not to swear at all. Obviously, lately, with, like, the more I stream, the more I find myself swearing. I thought Blue Crystal Sword was valuable, but it's not worth crap. Yep, it's, everything's just, like, everything's very, very under, underpriced, in my opinion, right now. They, I think they also, um, increased, like, gear drops, like, loot drops, because you can find, like, a lot of blues and purple collectibles in, in, um, like, what would be a falchion right now? In normals. An epic falchion. 
169 gold, yeah. It's not a lot. For the power increase you get from that? Holy shit. Let's see, rare. 50 gold. Yep. This is Wyander. 100 gold. Yeah. Epic. 125 gold. 51 weapon damage. For literally 100 gold. It's a lot. It's like, there's a reason why my stuff... The stuff I'm collecting is making me, like, no money. <laughs> like... Uh, this crossbow made us some money. We might be able to sell the Felling Axe. I'm gonna have to sort through and sell some shit, though. This one's not bad. We did find a good spear. We found a spear here. Adventure Tunic. I could sell, maybe? Let's see what the going price is for an uncommon Adventure Tunic. I feel like that's a decent one for Barbarians. Or, not Barbarians, but... A lot of people want this, or the Akritin, or Akitin, whatever it is. Yeah. Under gold. More than a purple Y almost. Crazy. You got a gob of your inventory, by the way? Yeah, I sold that shit, didn't I? I heard you can get a gold chest from Pile of Norms now. Kind of crazy if true. Wow. I gotta start doing Horde. I generally sell everything I'm not gonna use in the next uh, handful of raids. Yeah, look at, look at all this shit we have. Oh, attribute pad of tunic, not bad. We're gonna have to do a clear out sometime. Like a big clear out. Yeah. Maybe tomorrow I actually go geared. If I stream tomorrow, what's tomorrow? Tuesday? We'll see about tomorrow. Um. Maybe. Podcast is tomorrow, which I'd like to watch, but I, I do want to try to stream more, at least like get some more quick streams in through the week. Rather, like Monday, Wednesday, and one on the weekend feels like I'm not streaming enough at all. So, I kind of feel bad when I take a couple days off, but sometimes your neighbor is just driving around shooting shotguns and shit and scaring your wife, so. What do you do? Alright, I'm gonna raid somebody. I think I'm gonna call it. Tonight's been a lot of fun. Uh, I'm getting really, really tired, though. It's fucking 1 a.m. No. I have to get up in like six hours. Fuck me. I didn't realize it was this late. Alright, I might just... Um... I reckon you should look into making YouTube videos. I think you'd do well. Uh, Logics, I have one finished that I was supposed to upload when I go into the house tonight. Fuck. Do I still have time for that? I hope so. It it'll be posted tomorrow for sure. It'll be posted tomorrow. I finished it before starting the stream tonight. So that, um, I had it done. But yeah, go to the Discord. Sorry, Phantom, I forgot to check out your thing in the Discord. There is a neat little AI song about me and how great a player I am. So do check that out once in a while. Um, it is there. Thank you guys all for hanging out tonight. We had uh, a lot of viewers tonight, a lot of followers, some gifted subs. I'm pretty happy with how things went. What's the song? I, it's just some random song someone put together. It's kind of funny. We'll be looking for that video. Yeah, it's, it snipes. Get back on the grind yourself and enjoy it. I might just call it a night here. I, I, I always feel really bad if I raid somebody and I don't, like, at least, like, chat for a bit with them. And I, I know there's a lot of small creators out there that could use these viewers. I feel bad both ways, you know? Unless I can hang out for a bit and I ended my stream at a good time, I just really have to get to bed. My daughter gets up at 7 a.m. and it's, it's now 1 a.m. So, I'm kind of fucking myself. I'm just gonna go. Bye, everyone. Thank you all so much. Um, I had a lot of fun. I definitely want to get better again with Spear, but maybe we do Achilles Strike. Multiclassing soon. That could mix it up with Warlock. I don't think Spear is super meta, obviously, but I have fun with Breakthrough. Warning a lot about Spear, so it's good. Bye-bye.